Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Marvel's Magic Master, and I have clones all over the world of magic. Chapter 41 The main course for dinner is a large portion of white rice. The dish is a crucian carp and a plate of green vegetables. After all, it is a rural area. It is impossible to entertain Fang Yi with big fish and meat. To be honest, such a meal is already extremely abundant in the countryside at this time. Most of the rice went into Fang Yi's stomach. Su Zaicho also ate a big bowl. She was really tired and hungry after traveling all afternoon. After eating, Su Zaicho put down the bowl with some embarrassment and whispered, Normally, I can't eat so much. She didn't know why she had to explain this sentence. Fang Yi said with a smile, Eating more is a good thing. As the body's attributes increase, you will need to take in more nutrients in the future, otherwise it will easily destroy the body's balance. You should rest for a while first. I'll return the bowl to the village chief. After saying that, Fang Ye stood up and left with a few empty bowls. After a while, Fang Ye arrived at the village chief's house and knocked on the door. The person who opened the door was the village chief. He was wearing slippers and seemed to be getting ready for bed. The past rural sighed. There is no entertainment in the evening. Villagers usually go to bed early. Village chief, thank you for your hospitality. Let me return the bowl to you. Fang Yi explained his intention. It's not too late to come tomorrow. The village chief politely invited, come in and have a glass of water. Fang Yi waved his hand and said, no more drinking. My mother-in-law is scared to be alone and is still waiting for me to go back. Hearing this, the village chief said with a smile, I know, I know, then you should go back and rest early. Fang. Yi did not leave, but asked, Village chief, I heard you say before that there is a banditry in this area. Yes, the village chief sighed and said, Many nearby villages have been robbed. So, village chief, do you know where the bandits are hiding? Um, the village chief was stunned and looked at Fang Yi. Young man, are you looking for that group of bandits? What to do, Fang? Yi smiled and said, Thanks to the village chief for taking you in, I have nothing to repay. I can only help you clean up the bandits nearby. You, you are going to deal with those bandits. The village chief looked even more surprised. Fang Yi smiled faintly. He had already seen that the village chief was not as honest and honest as he seemed. In the afternoon, the reason why the village chief agreed to him and Su Zaicho entering the village was not at all because he is kind-hearted, but he sees that Fang Yi is not easy to mess with, and he is afraid that refusing will anger Fang Yi. After all, a person who can carry a coffin with a dead body inside is an ordinary person. Send food to Fang Yi at night, there is also a certain reason, it is to appease Fang Yi. Of course, if Fang Yi knows this kind of thing, there is no need to tell it. If you see through it, don't tell it. Village chief, you must have noticed that I have some strength. I also practiced martial arts when I was a child. I should have no problem dealing with a group of bandits. When the villagers heard this, they laughed and knew what Fang Yi meant, so they pointed to the left happily. The bandits' den is on the mountain over there. Fang Yi looked in the direction pointed by the village chief. Under the moonlight, he could vaguely see a small mountain. Okay, village chief, I will drive away these bandits early tomorrow morning. Hearing this, the village chief was very happy and said, here we are, the brave man. Tomorrow morning, the villagers will see him off. Fang Yi smiled with satisfaction. Then I won't disturb the village chief's rest. In the woodshed, Su Zaicho secretly breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Fang Yi coming back. She is still a girl after all. If she were to stay with the coffin all the time, she would definitely be scared. Especially in the coffin, there is a corpse that is about to turn into a zombie, which looks eerie. Fang Yi, According to the time mentioned by Professor Zhou, this zombie will transform tonight. Su Zaicho couldn't help but remind him. Fang Yi saw Su Zaicho's uneasiness and comforted him. I know, you go to sleep first, I will wake you up when there is any movement. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, nothing will go wrong. If anyone else had said this, Su Zaicho would have absolutely scoffed. However, she believed what Fang Yi said. Because, in the forbidden area number two, in order to save her, Fang Yi even faced the pursuit of the liquors alone. Kill without any hesitation. Or not you sleepy? Su Zaicho asked. Fang Yi shook his head and said, I have high mental attributes. 
It's okay to stay up all night. This is really not Fang Yi's bragging. With his current mental strength, even if he doesn't sleep for two nights, it will not affect his ability to fight. Su Zaicho didn't say anything else. She lay down obediently. With Fang Yi by her side, she felt very at ease. It was about 11 o'clock in the middle of the night. Boom, there was a sudden sound in the coffin. The sound was not loud. However, in this quiet night, even the smallest sound would be amplified several times. Su Zaicho was woken up with a fright and looked towards coffin. You go outside, close the door, don't let anyone get close, leave this to me. Fang Yi's voice came from the darkness. When Su Zaicho heard the words, she looked towards Fang Yi. She had the illusion that Fang Yi's eyes were unusually bright in the darkness. You have to be careful. Su Zaicho warned, stood up, and came outside the woodshed. Although she was a little scared, she didn't go far and stayed at the door of the woodshed. At this point in the plan, she was no longer allowed to back down. Next, whether Fang Yi can tame the zombies is the most critical step in the plan. If Fang Yi fails, the two of them will finish the game together. In the dark, suddenly a dark wind blew up in the woodshed. Waves of Yin Qi, with a biting chill. Boom, the coffin made a noise again. This time the noise was even greater. The lid of the coffin was almost lifted. Fang Yi was watching from the side, his face seemed very calm. He was waiting for Mr. Ren to come out on his own, the next moment. There was a, bang, sound. The whole coffin suddenly exploded and fell into pieces. Then, a black shadow jumped out of the coffin and came to the world. It was old Mrs. Ren. At this time, old Mrs. Ren had completely transformed into a zombie, with a green face and fangs. The face was ferocious. Its whole body was stiff and upright, its arms were raised flat, and its hands were stretched straight. Its sharp nails shone coldly in the moonlight from the window. You finally woke up. A faint voice came, immediately attracting the attention of Mr. Ren. Seeing Fang Yi as a living person, how could Mr. Ren hold back? The zombie's instinct to suck blood immediately drove it to rush towards Fang Yi. He is indeed an irrational beast. Facing the zombies that rushed towards him, Fang Yi snorted coldly. He clenched his fists without dodging or dodging. Mr. Ren's attack speed was very fast. But, in Fang Yi's eyes, it was as slow as a snail. Because Fang Yi the current agility attribute is really too high. It is more than 40 times that of a normal person. His current nerve reflex speed can even capture the trajectory of bullets. It is no exaggeration. If someone shoots at Fang Yi now gun, Fang Yi can catch the bullet with his bare hands. Old Man Ren is just a newborn zombie, wants to threaten Fang Yi. What a dream. Boom. There was a crisp sound, like the sound of a drum. It was Fang Yi's fist, which came first and hit old Mrs. Ren. Suddenly, old Mrs. Ren was blown away, and his whole body was smashed into the firewood, throwing a pile of firewood into the firewood. Wood, smashed into ruins. Oops, you used too much strength. Don't let me punch you to death, right? Fang Yi retracted his fist, feeling a little helpless. He had already stopped his strength just now, and he only used about 30% of his strength for this punch. To put it simply, it is an ordinary punch. If it is a serious punch, maybe it can be a punch make a big hole in old Master Ren's body. After all, he is very powerful now. Any punch will have a tonnage of impact. Fortunately, the firewood shed was at the entrance of the village, dozens of meters away from the nearest village chief's house. Otherwise, the villagers might have heard the noise just now. Fang Yi murmured to himself. At this time, Su Zaicho's voice came from outside the door, Fang Yi, are you okay? The tone was full of worry. The noise just now must have been a bit loud for Su Zaicho to hear. I'm fine, Fang Yi replied, looking at the firewood pile. The next moment, there was a bang, and the firewood flew around. Old Mrs. Ren jumped out and stood up again. Seeing that old Mrs. Ren was okay, Fang Yi secretly breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, old Mrs. Ren pointed in the direction of Fang Yi, bared his teeth, and said, there were waves of wild beast-like roars. Obviously, Fang Yi's punch just now angered it. Anyone who has watched, Mr. Zombie, knows that Mr. Ren is not an ordinary zombie. It has residual memories and will return to Ren immediately after waking up. Jaw bit his own son to death. 
Faced with Uncle Ju's pursuit, it even showed some wisdom. It is not as dull as other zombies and only acts according to instinct. Um, you dare to show your teeth to me? Fang, Yi snorted coldly. It seems that the blow just now was not hard enough. After the words fell, Fang Yi strode towards Mr. Ren. Mr. Ren did not give up, and immediately rushed towards Fang Yi again. Boom, ideographic comma, boom, ideographic comma, ouch. Outside the woodshed door, Su Zaicho could hear various movements coming from the woodshed, as well as screams mixed with terror. That kind of scream was like a wounded beast, obviously not something a human could make. Su Zaicho was very worried. She wanted to go in and help. But he was afraid that if he went in, it would cause trouble to Fang Yi. She is self-aware and knows her own strength, so she is no match for zombies. So, Su Zaicho waited anxiously outside the door. She has made up her mind that if Fang Yi fails and is killed, then she will fight the zombies and never survive. Finally, after a few minutes, the movement in the woodshed slowly died down until it disappeared. Su Zaicho felt a chill in his heart. Knowing that it was a duel between Fang Yi and zombies, the winner was determined. I just don't know who will survive. Su Zaicho took a deep breath, plucked up the courage, and shouted against the door, Fang Yi, can I come in? The scene in the woodshed was not as tragic as Su Zaicho thought. Fang Yi was completely unscathed and his clothes were not even stained. On the other hand, the zombies had their hats blown off and their clothes torn. They were extremely miserable. They say zombies are invulnerable and powerful. Fang. Yi looked at Mr. Ren and snorted disdainfully, I can't see anything like this. How about it? Do you want to continue? Fang Yi asked as he walked towards the zombie. Unexpectedly, when the zombie saw Fang Yi coming, the first reaction was not to bite Fang Yi, but showed a look of fear and kept jumping back, huddled in the foot of the wall, shivering. In just a few minutes, old master Ren suffered inhuman beatings and abuse, and he finally realized that the human being in front of him was a creature more terrifying than a zombie. Old master Ren was really scared of being beaten. In the original plot, in the end, when the four-eyed Taoist priest asked God to get up and beat Mr. Ren, Mr. Ren also showed a fearful look like he is now. This shows that Mr. Ren is definitely a little wise. It can tell who is easy to bully and who should not be messed with. Seeing Fang Yi walking towards it, Mr. Ren was very scared, but had nowhere to escape. He could only huddle in the corner and tremble, like a little girl being bullied, looking so weak and helpless. Fang Yi, are you scared now? The legendary zombies are nothing more than that. Fang Yi muttered in a low voice. He was standing and talking without pain in his back. With his current strength, he is already a non-human monster. Fighting a zombie that has just transformed into a corpse is of course the same as playing. Fang Yi, can I come in? Su Zaicho's worried voice came from outside the door. Fang Yi said casually, it's okay, come in. After receiving Fang Yi's response, Su Zaicho secretly breathed a sigh of relief, opened the door and came in. Fang Yi, where are the zombies? Su Zaicho asked. Fang Yi didn't say anything and pointed at Mr. Ren who was hiding in the corner. Ah, Su Zaicho looked over and was immediately frightened and exclaimed. Fang Yi is not afraid of zombies because he is strong enough and courageous. Coupled with Saitama's physique, he is slowly losing his fear, let alone zombies. More terrifying monsters cannot scare Fang Yi. But Su Zaicho is different. In terms of personality, she is still a normal person. The zombies have green faces, fangs, and ferocious faces. They look really scary. The timid ones can make their legs weak from fear, or even fainted directly. Su Zaicho just exclaimed, it's pretty good. And Mrs. Ren saw Su Zaicho. Especially Su Zaicho looked very afraid of it, all of a sudden. Mr. Ren has regained his confidence again. It roared at Su Zaicho. Instinct drives it to bite Su Zaicho to death and suck human blood. Snort. Suddenly, a familiar cold snort came. Mr. Ren was so frightened that he shivered all over and huddled in the corner, not daring to move. Fang Yi looked at the obedient cat-like zombie and took it back. Cold eyes. If Mrs. Ren hadn't recognized the situation quickly just now, I might have been beaten by him again. Old Mrs. Ren, I'm in so much trouble. When will this day end? At this time, Su Zaicho finally saw it. That scary zombie was very afraid of Fang Yi. She couldn't help but asked in surprise, 
Feng Yi, have you tamed it? Tame, not really. Feng Yi said with a smile. I just scared it. Su Zaicho. Feng Yi suddenly asked, Where are the magical weapons I gave you this afternoon? It's here. Su Zaicho found the magic weapon. Feng Yi said, Take it with you and follow me. Su Zaicho was stunned. It's so late, where are we going? Go experiment. Hearing the word, test, Su Zaicho's heart trembled. Knowing the plan, of course she understood what Feng Yi wanted to test. Su Zaicho's pretty face turned pale, but she couldn't help but persuade. Feng Yi, the people in the village are all innocent. She thought that Feng Yi wanted to use people in the village to test the plan. Feng Yi was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, Where are you thinking? No matter how bottomless I am, I can't risk innocent lives to do such a thing. Hearing this, Su Zaicho secretly breathed a sigh of relief. So where do we go? Do you still remember what the village said in the afternoon that there was a banditry around here? Feng Yi said calmly. When I delivered the bowl before, one already asked the village about the location of the bandit's den. Bandit, Su Zaicho is not a pedantic person, and she can accept it if the bandit's lives are wasted. At this moment, Su Zaicho suddenly felt that Feng Yi was an outstanding person and was good at discovering details. He memorized what the village chief said in the afternoon. Moreover, Feng Yi also has a strong sense of the overall situation. The executors of this plan are all Feng Yi. She is basically just playing tricks. This feeling of not having to worry about anything and just follow along and win is really great. Although Su Zaicho herself also has the attributes of a strong woman. But in front of Feng Yi, she was completely suppressed, a woman. I always like to admire strong men. In Su Zaicho's heart at this moment, Feng Yi is very charming. Night. There was silence. On the deserted path, there are three figures, moving quickly. If there were any outsiders here at this moment, they would definitely be shocked. Because one of the figures does not move like a normal person by walking, but by jumping. Every time I jump, I can jump very high and float far away. It may seem a little stiff and clumsy, but the actual speed is much faster than ordinary people. They were still in front of me a moment ago, jumping up and down, and soon disappeared from sight. The speed of the other two people was not slow either. In the mountains and forests, it is like walking on flat ground. And whenever the bouncing figure in front ran a little too fast, he would be caught up by a man from behind, and then he would be beaten severely, these three figures. Naturally, it's Fang Yi, Su Zaicho, and the zombie, Mr. Ren. The three of them hurried on quickly under the moonlight. It only took an hour to reach the valley. After a while, Fang Yi saw a place where people lived by a river. There are more than a dozen wooden houses here, as well as stables for horses. All wooden houses and stables are surrounded by a row of wooden fences to prevent wild beasts from entering in the middle of the night. It's like a small village. At a glance, you can tell that this group of bandits has established a base here and intends to operate it for a long time. They have all started families here. A mere wooden fence cannot stop Fang Yi. He grabbed the zombie with his left hand and Su Zaicho with his right hand. He jumped into the fence. There were several gray horses in the stable. When they saw Fang Yi coming in, they snorted a few times, their eyes alert and frightened. Animals have far greater capabilities than humans in certain aspects of perception. The yin and death energy in Mr. Ren's body made these horses feel very uneasy. Fang Yi's goal is not these horses, so he will naturally ignore them. He looked at the fence around him and thought this was pretty good. If there is a commotion later, the bandits will not be able to escape, so they are trapped in a cocoon. Thinking of this, Fang Yi patted the zombie's shoulder and said calmly, Go drink blood. If you dare to run away again, be careful I'll break your legs. This is really not Fang Yi's bragging. The zombie's body is indeed very hard. However, Fang Yi's power is stronger. If he wanted to, he could even tear off the zombie's legs. Mr. Ren couldn't understand what Fang Yi said. Its current intelligence is very low. However, Mr. Ren vaguely understood what Fang Yi meant by pushing it. Fortunately, it had smelled the scent of many living people in the surrounding wooden houses. Instinct drives it to drain the blood of these people. Subsequently, old Master Ren jumped up and down and came to the first wooden house. Before entering, it hesitated for a moment, 
glanced at Fang Yi secretly, and confirmed that Fang Yi was not angry, then continued to approach the wooden house. It seemed that Fang Yi had really caused a great psychological shadow on Mr. Ren. As long as Fang Yi snorted coldly, old man Ren would never dare to make a mistake, and would just stay there and not dare to move, the first wooden house. The door happened to be open. After Mr. Ren entered the wooden house, he saw a bald man on the bed, shirtless and sleeping soundly. Seeing this, Mr. Ren couldn't wait any longer. He rushed over and bit the strong man's throat in one bite. Ho ho, his throat was bitten off, and the bald man suddenly woke up, his eyes widened, there was a clogged sound in his throat, and his hands were waving wildly and struggling. The human throat is a fatal part, but after being bitten off, you will not die for a short time. The bald man could only watch helplessly as the zombies drained the blood from his body. This home usually when robbing homes, I like to bleed people so that the innocent victims bleed to death. Now, he has also been sucked out of blood by zombies and died. What a retribution. After Mr. Ren sucked up the strong man's blood, he immediately let out a low roar of pleasure. Moreover, Mr. Ren felt that his strength had increased a bit. This makes it even more desperate for blood. Soon. Mr. Ren rushed to the second wooden house. The door of this wooden house was bolted. Of course, Mr. Ren would not unlock it, so he chose to open it directly. Boom, the door of the wooden house collapsed suddenly, making a lot of noise. This time, most of the bandits in the bandit camp were finally surprised. Enemy attack. The bandit in the wooden house saw a black figure rushing toward him. He shouted suddenly, pulled out the gold-backed machete on the cabinet next to him, and slashed at Mr. Ren with one blow. Clang. The knife struck Mr. Ren on the shoulder, but it was like hitting an iron stone, and there was a sound of the blade cracking. It wasn't that Mr. Ren had a high defense. It was the knives of these bandits, which were of poor quality. Looking at the missing sword, the bandit was so frightened that it was too late to run away. At this time, old Master Ren was completely close to him and rushed towards him. The bandit also saw clearly the green face, fangs and ferocious face of old Master Ren. Ghost. The bandit screamed in horror, and before he could struggle, Mrs. Ren bit his neck. The artery was punctured, and a large amount of blood poured into Mr. Ren's mouth. Mrs. Ren drank it as if he was drinking poplar nectar. In just a few breaths, he drank most of the blood from the bandit. Then, Mr. Ren threw down the bandit's body and continued to look for the next target. At this time, the camp was already in chaos. Countless bandits were after hearing the enemy attack. Just now, Manchu put on his clothes and rushed out with weapons. What happened? Where is the enemy? The bandits were making a fuss, and happened to see the zombie jumping out of the second wooden house. Under the moonlight, they could see that Mr. Ren's face was ferocious, and the exposed canine teeth were covered with blood, which was terrifying. Ghost, some timid ones shouted and turned pale with fright. But there were also bold bandit leaders who shouted, Don't be afraid, there are so many of us, we can kill it together. After hearing the boss's words, Everyone cheered up and quickly followed the boss and rushed towards Mr. Ren. Unfortunately, they were just trying to block the car and did not know what they could do. Even though Mr. Ren was beaten badly by Fang Yi, that's because Fang Yechiang's perversion. These bandits are just ordinary people. How can they defeat zombies? Humans see tactics. At most, they can make Mr. Ren full. What's more, Mr. Ren drank the blood of two people in a row, and his strength improved a lot, and his body even harder. The swords and guns of these bandits were unable to break through the defense of Mr. Ren. A one-sided massacre began. At this time, a one-sided massacre took place in the bandit camp. Old Master Ren was like a tiger charging into a flock of sheep, slaughtering them and drinking their blood. Camp Entrance Seeing this tragic scene, Fang Yi looked calm. Su Zaicho turned away, unable to bear to look at it anymore. How, can't bear it anymore, Fang Yi said calmly, look at the tree on your left. There are human skins hanging on it. These bandits deserve to die. If you can't even stand this scene, I suggest you drop out of school as soon as possible after returning to school and go back to live an ordinary life. Forbidden land is not for you. Hearing this, Su Zaicho's pretty face was startled, and he looked towards the big tree with a crooked neck on the left. There were indeed pieces of skin hanging on it, and he didn't know what these bandits wanted with the human skin. 
Su Zaicho it gave me chills in my heart to see so many completed human skins, each of which was a human life. At the same time, Fang Yi's words also made Su Zaicho reflect. Is she really not suitable for breaking into the forbidden area? Okay, she admitted, next to her the smelly guy is right. The forbidden area is already very dangerous. The further you go, the more dangerous it becomes. If you still have these ridiculous sympathies, it may indeed harm her in the future. I just haven't adapted to such a scene yet. Su Zaicho rolled her eyes at Fang Yi, then endured the discomfort in her heart and looked towards the battlefield. When Fang Yi heard this, he just smiled and said nothing more. It was Fang Yi who could remind Su Zaicho because this girl was quite obedient. At this time, new changes took place on the battlefield. After paying the price of seven or eight lives, these bandits finally realized that the vicious zombie in front of them was impossible to defeat. They were frightened. Ah, ghost, run quickly, we can't kill it. Help, boss, help me. The few remaining bandits completely lost the confidence to fight and began to choose to escape. The fence has only one exit, which is in the direction of Fang Yi. When the bandits discovered that there were two figures at the exit, they were startled. But, Wait until they see clearly. Fang Yi and Su Zaicho. Just two normal humans. The bandits were no longer afraid, and even had ferocious looks on their faces. Get out of here, labor. The bandit leader raised his knife and rushed toward Fang Yi. Facing several bandits rushing over, Fang Yi just grabbed a handful of stones from the ground and threw them out one by one. Whoosh, whoosh. There was a sound of breaking through the air. The stones thrown by Fang Yi were as powerful as bullets. The bandits soon screamed in agony. Their leg bones were broken by the stones and they fell to the ground. In the blink of an eye, they could only see a few. The bandit fell to the ground, wailing. From beginning to end, Fang Yi didn't move his feet, he just moved his fingers. Why are you so powerful? Su Zaicho exclaimed. Practice hard since childhood. Fang Yi replied with a smile. Even if Su Zaicho could be trusted, Fang Yi did not reveal the secret of Saitama's physique. Remember, keep it a secret for me when you go out, I don't want to show off. Fang Yi said again. Su Zaicho nodded quickly. I don't like to be a big mouth either. While the two were talking, Mr. Ren had already drained the blood of the bandits next to him. His scarlet eyes were focused on the bandits whose legs had been broken by Fang Yi. Ah, don't come, don't come. Help, hero, save us. No matter how the bandits called or begged, Fang Yi always looked calm and indifferent. Su Zaicho thought of Fang Yi's lesson just now. Although he still had good intentions and could not be indifferent, he could control himself and pretend not to hear. Finally, Ren the old man rushed over, and these bandits all died in despair and pain. The bite wounds on the necks of all the bandits were turning black. This was a sign of corpse poison. At this moment, the mutation happened. After Mr. Ren drank the blood of all the bandits, his scarlet eyes suddenly focused on Fang Yi and Su Zaicho. It can be seen that after drinking the blood of more than a dozen bandits, many things happened to Mr. Ren's body. Obvious changes. Its size has grown a lot, its claws are sharper, and its eyes have become scarlet. Its body has become darker and looks harder, but its bones and joints have become able to move freely, and it no longer needs to jump. Able to walk like a normal person, a pair of scarlet eyes slowly appeared with a gaze that opened his mind. At this time, Mr. Ren was like a crazed beast. There was an aura of madness all over his body. It was obvious, Mrs. Ren has evolved. Fang Yi, something is very wrong with this zombie. It seems to be targeting us. Su Zaicho said worriedly. This fool, thinking that he has gained some strength, doesn't know the heights of the world, and dares to show his teeth to his master. Fang. Yi said calmly. It seems that the fight before was not enough, so it didn't remember the lesson. Although Fang Yi's tone was very calm, his eyes were cold. Then, Fang Yi slowly walked a few steps towards old Mrs. Ren, stood not far from old Mrs. Ren, and raised his fingers at old Mrs. Ren. In old Mrs. Ren's eyes, there was some hesitation. In the end, the desire for blood defeated his reason, prompting Mr. Ren to rush towards Fang Yi. A few minutes later, old master Ren lay motionless on the ground like a dead dog. It was beaten severely by Fang Yi again. Moreover, Fang Yi's attack this time was heavier than last time. He simply pressed Mr. Ren to the ground and rubbed him. 
A deep hole was made in the ground. Old Master Ren was lying in the pit, miserable. Although the current Mr. Ren has evolved, he is still several levels behind Fang Yi's strength. From the moment it dared to attack Fang Yi, it couldn't escape after a beating. Fang Yi clapped his hands and looked condescendingly at Mr. Ren. You are such a bear, how dare you bare your teeth at me? Fang Yi heard that as Yi spoke, Mrs. Ren's scarlet eyes showed a look of humanized fear. Its intelligence is also increasing with evolution. Perhaps in the end of evolution, Mr. Ren's wisdom may be no less than that of others, only. Mr. Ren no longer has this opportunity. Because through the incident just now, Fang Yi understood that zombies are white-eyed wolves who don't remember to fight. Once you gain strength, you will always think about attacking your master. Fang Yi has decided, when Mr. Ren evolves again, he will kill this thing and replace it with a little zombie to serve as a dog. In order to prevent Mr. Ren from always thinking about backlash after he gains strength, and it would not be safe to keep old Master Ren alive until he was killed. If this fool evolves a few more times and has the strength to compete with Fang Yi, it will always be a problem. In order to avoid such trouble, the best way, just strangle old Mrs. Ren in the cradle. Su Zaicho, go and drag out all the bodies in the house. Fang Yi ordered. By the way, let's see if there is anything in the house that we can use. Okay, Su Zaicho agreed and began to search in various wooden houses. She didn't have to worry, there would be bandits hiding in the wooden houses. Professor Joe had taught everyone a long time ago that zombies are very sensitive to the smell of strangers they can hold their breath to escape. If the wooden house there were bandits inside, so they definitely couldn't avoid the zombies. Fang Yi, on the other hand, picked up a big knife and started digging a hole in the ground. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bury Mr. Ren. For now, Mr. Ren is still very worried about Fang Yi. Useful. He still wants to keep old Mrs. Ren as a dog to help him bite others. Ten minutes later, Fang Yi dug a big hole in the center of the camp. Su Zaicho also dragged out all the corpses from the wooden houses, and under Fang Yi's instructions, placed the corpses of all the bandits on the edge of the pit. Fang Yi, I just found some gold bars in the ocean in the wooden house. Su Zaicho said as he placed the collected belongings in front of Fang Yi. Unexpectedly, these bandits are really rich. Fang Yi said with a smile. The gold bars alone weigh several kilograms. Plus those oceans, it is enough for the two of them to spend as much as they want in the next month. Su Zaicho added. Also, I found a chain. When he saw the iron chain, Fang Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. The iron chain was very thick. Fang Yi tried it and found that it was very strong. It would be perfect to use this iron chain to tie up Mr. Ren. This saves Fang Yi from having to be on guard all the time. Let the old man run away. Well done. Fang Yi couldn't help but praise Su Zaicho, and then said, Let's go look for it and see if there is a larger wooden box that can hold it. The thing Fang Yi mentioned, of course, refers to Mr. Ren. Under normal circumstances, when bandits rob goods, they should have wooden boxes. I think I saw it in a warehouse just now. I'll go look for it. Su Zaicho said and walked towards the warehouse. It didn't take long. She came over carrying a big wooden box. The wooden box is rectangular, the width is enough, but the length is a bit short. Fang Yi, this is the largest wooden box, it seems a little short. Fang Yi looked at it and laughed. Not short, just right. Fang Yi said as he picked up the knife and walked towards Mr. Ren with a smirk on his face. The next scene was a bit cruel. Su Zaicho didn't dare to look more and turned around. Mr. Ren let out a tragic sound, screams. Ouch. Mr. Ren was eventually put into a wooden box by Fang Yi. As for how it was installed, of course Fang Yi cut off both of its legs, seriously. Falling into the hands of Fang Yi is simply a tragedy for Mr. Ren. Now, Mr. Ren's feet were cut off and his arms were tied up with thick iron chains. He could no longer run or move at all. When Fang Yi closed the wooden box, he nodded with satisfaction. This time, it saves a lot of trouble. Even Su Zaicho could completely keep old man Ren under his control. Fang Yi can also free up his hands to continue his plan. Fang Yi, what do we do next? Su Zaicho asked. Wait, Fang. Yi said, when these corpses turn into zombies, we will kill them all again, and then burn the whole place with fire. 
In the original plot of, Mr. Zombie, if a person is scratched by a zombie, it will take about half a day to be infected by the corpse poison and turn into a zombie. Among them, literary talent is the most obvious example. If Uncle Ju hadn't soaked him in glutinous rice water to absorb the corpse poison, Wenkai would never have been able to escape. And if it is a person who is directly bitten to death by a zombie, that might only take two or three hours, will transform into a new zombie. These bandits were all killed by Mr. Ren. It is estimated that in two or three hours, they will become new zombies. Since it's time to wait, Feng Yi decided to find something to do. His eyes looked at the horses in the stable. Xiao Su, can you ride a horse? Feng Yi asked. Xiao Su, Su Zaicho was also drunk when she heard this title. We are all of the same age, and in terms of months, we are not necessarily older. But Su Zaicho just complained in his heart. On the surface, she has completely adapted to the position of assistant. No a little, Su Zaicho said. Oh, Feng Yi's eyes suddenly lit up and he said, ride it and let me take a look. Su Zaicho pouted, but he was still very obedient. He went to the stable, took out a horse, then got on it and started riding. These horses had been tamed long ago and were very docile. Su Zaicho rode the horse and ran away in the camp. After a few laps, he seemed to be able to do it with ease. How could he be so good at it? He was obviously a master of equestrian skills. And in modern society, people who can often ride horses must have rich and noble families. It can be judged from this. Su Zaicho's family background is not simple. At least, she is also by Fu Mei. Not bad. Fang, Yi praised, and then said unceremoniously, come here and teach me how to ride. Next, he planned to ride on horseback. After all, relying on two legs would waste too much time. Hearing Fang Yi's words, Su Zaicho smiled and seemed very happy. Since entering the forbidden area, Su Zaicho has always been a little transparent. It's rare. Ah, I finally have an ability that can surpass Fang Yi. Fang Yi, call me teacher. Fang, Yi was very thick-skinned. When he heard this, he smiled and said, Okay, teacher Su, teach your students quickly. Su Zaicho chuckled, rolled his eyes at Fang Yi again, and then began to teach Fang Yi. Riding a horse is actually very easy to learn. Once the horse is tamed, it is very docile. As long as you don't use brute force to control it and relax your body, it will be willing to take you along. Two hours later, Fang Yi finally found the trick to riding a horse. He sat on the horse and walked slowly around the bandit camp. He is not very skilled yet. If the horse runs too fast, Fang Yi may lose his balance and fall off. While Fang Yi was riding, Su Zaicho suddenly shouted, Fang Yi, they are making noise. When Fang Yi heard this, he immediately grabbed the horse and jumped off the horse. The horse also looked very uneasy, as if he was afraid of something. Fang Yi patted the horse's head, tied the horse to a nearby pillar, and walked towards Su Zaicho, on the ground. The corpse of a bandit was shaking. There seems to be signs of awakening. It didn't take long. The corpse's eyes opened suddenly, terrifying fangs were exposed in its mouth, and it let out a series of low roars. The first bandit's corpse has changed. Just when this junior zombie was about to get up from the ground, a big foot suddenly stepped on it and stomped it back hard. Ouch! The bandit zombie howled, struggled violently, and even wanted to bite Fang Yi. Fang Yi snorted coldly, and then removed all the arms and legs of the little zombie, making it unable to move. Su Zaicho, bring me the peach wood sword. Fang Yedao. Okay. Su Zaicho immediately found the peach wood sword, walked to Fang Yi, and handed it to Fang Yi. Fang Yi didn't take it, and said to Su Zaicho, aim at its heart and stab it in. After hearing this, Su Zaicho was slightly startled. She was not a fool. Of course she understood that Fang Yi was giving her the reward for killing zombies. Why are you still stunned? Other corpses will soon follow suit. Fang Yi urged. Su Zaicho took a deep breath, raised the peach wood sword, pointed it at the little zombie's heart, and stabbed it with the sword. This peach wood sword is a magic weapon that Uncle Ju has been refining for many years. It has some magical powers, such as powerful ghost. Puff, the zombie's hard body could not stop the peach wood sword from piercing. Su Zaicho easily pierced the zombie's heart. Roar. Suddenly, the zombie let out a painful roar, and its whole body began to spontaneously ignite. 
The raging flames quickly spread all over the zombie's body. Su Zaicho was so frightened that he quickly pulled out his mahogany sword to avoid it. Fang Yi kicked the zombie into the dug pit, inside and let it burn slowly in the pit. Not long after, the task reminder sounded in Su Zaicho's mind. Fang Yi, I heard the prompt. Su Zaicho said happily, I have completed the task of killing zombies. I can leave the forbidden area and teleport out at any time. Fang Yi smiled. I just killed one zombie, what are you going to do? If you kill more points before leaving, you will definitely get a high mission evaluation by then. Um, Su Zaicho nodded heavily and looked at Fang Yi with eyes full of appreciation. Both of them were very happy. At this point, it means that their plan has been more than half successful. Next, the corpses of the bandits transformed into zombies one by one, only. There is such a ruthless person as Fang Yi. They can't make any big waves at all. What awaits these little zombies is destined to be killed a second time. 17 bandits in total. Fang Yi killed 9 of them with his own hands, and Su Zaicho killed 8 of them, in addition. Fang Yi also tried it, using the flames to burn the zombies directly, and the result was that he was able to burn the little zombies alive. Zombies are naturally afraid of fire and even more afraid of sunlight. Unless it's a zombie with a particularly high level of Taoism. Fang Yi's flames are not ordinary fire, their source comes from the sun. Very restrained from evil things that are afraid of sunlight. This discovery, Fang Yi was pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect Lai Yan to be so powerful. In the big pit. The fire is still burning. All the corpses of the bandits are inside. Fang Yi raised his head and looked at the sky. In the eastern sky, the white color of fish belly at dawn had appeared. It's almost dawn. Next, Fang Yi used his raging fire power to burn down all the wooden houses here. Of those horses, only three were left, and the rest were released. He destroyed all traces of the bandit's den. After all this was done, the sky gradually became brighter. Didn't sleep all night. Fang Yi was in good spirits, but Su Zaicho looked a little tired. Su Zaicho, how are you? Do you want to find a place to sleep first? Su. Zaicho smiled and shook his head. I'm okay, don't worry about me, just follow your plan. Seeing what Su. Zaicho said, Fang Yi said in a very straight tone, Okay, let's go to the next town and rest. After that, the two set off together. As for Mr. Ren, he was locked in a wooden box and wrapped with a layer of black cloth to prevent the sun from passing through the gaps and killing him. There were three horses in total. Square Yi and Su Zaicho each rode one horse, and there was another horse for humping old man Ren. In Renjia town, Lu Feng, Zhao Fusheng and others didn't sleep all night. It's not that they don't want to sleep, but couldn't sleep at all. The only zombie was abducted by Fang Yi, and they also accepted the task of killing zombies. If the task is not completed, someone will die. How can they sleep? I'm almost dying. Now, they were dragging their tired bodies and staring with bloodshot eyes, gathering in a breakfast shop, eating and discussing countermeasures. Rengia town is so big, we searched everywhere this night. Mr. Ren and his family also sent people to look for him. Now it is certain that the zombie is definitely not in Rengia town and was taken away by someone. I don't know which fool did it, don't let me touch him, otherwise I will torture him to death. After saying that, Several people were gnashing their teeth and anxious. Even Lu Feng and Zhao Fusheng couldn't sit still. At this time, the girl among the people said, Everyone, I may know who kidnapped them. Zombies. Oh, a boy couldn't wait to ask, Mengshu, do you know? Who is it? Everyone turned their attention to the girls. Mengshu said, Before coming to the forbidden area, Boss Lu told us that the instructor hopes that we can get rid of the two seed students from Wusheng Academy in the Forbidden Area. And from last night to now, I have traveled all over the town and have not found these two people. I also specifically asked the students at Wusheng Academy, and they all said they had not seen the two of them. Therefore, I guess it is very likely that they have also accepted the task of killing zombies, and their ideas are the same as ours. I have to say that the girl is really attentive. She was able to find out this while tracking down the whereabouts of the zombies, which is pretty good. In other words, it is very likely that those two fools were the ones who robbed the zombies. A boy gritted his teeth and asked fiercely. Mengshu guessed. I think so. 
Even if there is no task given by the instructor this time, I will not let them go. However, the poor students from the rubbish academy actually affected our plans and caused our employees to have no sleep all night. Several students said harsh words one after another. Lu Feng frowned and said, the key now is to find them. Someone suggested. I think we can ask Uncle Ju from Yizhuang for help. The instructor said that this old Taoist priest is quite capable and knows some magical Taoism. Maybe he has the Taoism to track people. That's right, you can try this Taoist priest. How can we convince him to help us? Does this still require convincing? The body was lost in his righteous village. He has the responsibility to find the body. Otherwise, he himself will not be able to explain to the Ren family. Then let's do it, let's go there early after eating. After everyone confirmed the plan, they ate a few mouthfuls of steamed buns and immediately set off to Yizhuang. At this time, Fang Yi rode a tall horse and returned to the previous village. There is nothing to eat in the bandit's den. He wanted to come to the village and take some dry food with him to eat on the way. By the way, ask for directions. When I walked to the entrance of the village, I saw the village chief and several villagers, all carrying baskets, waiting here for a long time. Fang Yi smiled slightly when he saw this. The village chief is also an old fox with high EQ and IQ. He must have seen the fire burning in the valley at night, and knew that Fang Yi had gone to deal with the bandits overnight, so he took the villagers and waited here early in the morning. If Fang Yi comes, just give me something, hoping Fang Yi won't embarrass the village. It would be better if Fang Yi just left without coming. Village chief, good morning. Fang Yi jumped off the horse and said hello with a smile. The village chief recognized these horses at a glance. They were all bandits' horses. His heart suddenly shivered, but a smile appeared on his face. The strong man killed all the bandits in one night and brought harm to the people. What a great hero! The village chief flattered him, and then invited him again. The strong man must be thirsty and tired, right? Why not go in first, sit down, have a rest and have some breakfast? Fang. Yi shook his head, too lazy to talk to the village chief about such nonsense, and said directly, there's no need to rest. I need some dry food and boiled clean water. The village chief said quickly, it's been prepared. As he said this, he asked the villagers next to him to open the baskets in their hands. It contains some steamed buns, dry biscuits, bacon and other things, as well as a lot of eggs. We don't need the eggs, everything else will be packed for us. Fang Yi said very rudely. This is the deal that he and the village chief discussed last night. Fang Yi killed the bandits. The village chief is responsible for rewarding him. The village chief asked people to pack the food with clean cloth and took it from his body, took out a few pieces of ocean, and carefully handed them to Fang Yi. Warrior, this is a little bit of travel expenses collected by the villagers for you. I hope you don't dislike it. Fang Yi smiled and shook his head. He had gained a lot of money in the bandit's den, and he no longer needed the little money contributed by the village. It's not easy for the folks, so I don't want the money. Hearing this, the village chief was overjoyed. Fang Yi said again, we still need to trouble the village chief to show us the way. Oh, the village chief said quickly, where are you going, strong man? Village chief, do you know where there are many foreigners around here? Fang Yi asked. The village chief said without thinking, if you want to say that there are many foreigners around here, it must be the provincial capital, especially the dock of the provincial capital. A large number of foreign ships come in every day. Hearing this, Fang Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. Subsequently, under the guidance of the village chief, he and Su Zaicho rode towards the provincial capital. At the same time, in Yizhuang, Uncle Ju looked at the few young people who came to the door, frowned and asked, what do you want from me? Lu Feng and Zhao Fusheng looked at each other, and finally a young man who was the most eloquent stood up. Entrusted by Master Ren, I came here to investigate the corpse theft case. Hearing this, Uncle Ju's face was a little confused. Because the body was lost in Yizhuang, he had an unshirkable responsibility. Uncle Ju did not doubt the identity of these people, and even felt that these unfamiliar faces, maybe Mr. Ren deliberately found him to urge him to find Mr. Ren's body as soon as possible. The body was lost in Yizhuang, I will be responsible. Uncle Ju generously accepted the responsibility and said to several people, can you please go back and tell Master Ren that I will definitely find the body. 
Of course Lu Fang and others will not run back. They are not really Master Ren's people. The young man is a smart man and immediately said, Uncle Ju, Master Ren told us before coming here that we will not see the body of the old man, we will not leave. Hearing this, Uncle Ju looked helpless. All right, then come with me to find Mr. Ren's body. Everyone's eyes lit up when they heard this. The Taoist Master Ju Shu really had a way to find Mr. Ren. Next, Uncle Ju started the practice. He first wrote down Mr. Ren's birthday and horoscope on a piece of paper. Then he folded the pieces of paper into paper figures, dripped them with rooster blood, placed them on the table, and muttered something. After reciting an obscure mantra, Uncle Ju suddenly opened his eyes and shouted. A mortal guides the way. Suddenly, a strange phenomenon appeared. The paper man suddenly stood up from the ground, as if he had come to life. He also stretched out his hand and pointed his finger in a certain direction. It was Fang Yi and Su Zaicho who left with Mr. Ren yesterday. Direction. Seeing this scene, Lu Feng, Zhao Fusheng and others were all surprised. Uncle Ju's Taoism opened their eyes. Wen Kai, Chu Shang, I'm going to find Mr. Ren's body. You two should watch Yizhuang. Uncle Ju ordered his two apprentices. Hearing this, Wen Kai and Chu Shang agreed. Got it, master. Uncle, Ju looked at Zhao Fusheng and others again. Are you guys going to come with me or wait in Yizhuang? We are with you. Zhao Fusheng said, Okay, let's go. Along the way, Uncle Ju discovered that several young people were very unusual. Even that girl who looks pretty has amazing physical strength. After walking through the barren mountains and ridges all morning, I didn't even say I was tired, nor did I fall behind. Until noon, Uncle Ju took Zhao Fusheng and others to the bandit's den. At this time, the bandit's den had long been burned into ruins. Lu Feng picked up a piece of burnt charcoal from the dust and said calmly, there is still a temperature, which means that this place was burned down not long ago. A young man found a large knife with a gap and said to everyone, although the quality of this knife is not very good, the gap it made means that it hit something very hard. The girl Meng Shu discovered the deep pit in the center of the bandit's den. Come and take a look, there are many burnt corpses here. Hearing this, everyone walked over one after another. Uncle Ju just glanced at it, his face changed drastically, and he said, Oh no. Get out of. Uncle Ju, what's wrong? Meng Shu asked. These corpses have a lot of yin energy, and they have all been transformed into corpses. Uncle Ju's face was ugly. After hearing Uncle Ju's words, everyone immediately understood what was going on. It must be the two rats from the Marshall Saint Academy who controlled old Master Ren and bit these people to death first, waiting for their corpses. After the change, kill them again to get the mission evaluation. When they thought that someone else had succeeded in their plan, everyone was extremely angry. A young man couldn't help but cursed. You fool, wait until I find them. Be sure to turn them into zombies first and then kill them. Um, Uncle Ju immediately looked at the young man, frowned and asked, Your Excellency seems to know the ways of zombies. The young man knew that he had made a mistake which aroused Uncle Ju's suspicion, and said immediately, Uncle Ju, I was just joking, don't take it seriously. The others glared at the young man, making him embarrassed. Although Uncle Ju did not go into details, he began to doubt the intentions of these young people and became wary of them. Meng Shu came out to smooth things over. Uncle Ju, it's still important to chase people now. Uncle Ju didn't say anything more and continued to use the immortal guidance, Taoist technique to track the traces of Mrs. Ren, after an hour. They came to a nearby village. When the village chief saw this group of people, he was very surprised and wary. Who are these people? What are you doing in our village? Uncle Ju politely stepped forward and asked, Are you the village chief? The village chief nodded. I am. Village chief, have you ever seen a man carrying a coffin passing by? Uncle Ju asked. Seeing that Uncle Ju was upright and not like a bad guy, the village chief thought about it and said truthfully, Yesterday evening, someone did come to the village with a coffin, but it was not one person, but a pair of young people. Couple. Hearing this, before Uncle Ju said anything, a voice sounded behind him. Sure enough it was them. The one who spoke was the fast-talking young man just now. Uncle Ju immediately turned his head and looked at everyone meaningfully, What? Do you know the person who robbed the body? 
he is now certain that these people must be hiding some important information from him. Seeing Uncle Ju's suspicious eyes, the young man knew that he was about to make a mistake again. Song Ming, if you don't speak, no one will treat you as a mute. The other young man couldn't help it and yelled. This is a pig teammate. The young man named Song Ming knew that he was wrong and did not dare to refute. His face turned red and green. Lu Feng glanced at his teammates and stood up to Ju Feng. Uncle said, Uncle Ninth, we do know those two people. They are our fellow disciples, but they have evil intentions and have taken the wrong path. The purpose of stealing old Master Ren's body this time was probably to raise it. Master knew about this and was afraid that they would cause trouble, so he specially sent us here to clean up the house. These words shocked Mengshu and others. They never expected that Boss Lu, who usually seemed to be talkative and serious, would lie without blinking an eyelid. It was almost as if he was telling the truth. Even Zhao Fusheng looked sideways and looked at Lu Feng, a little surprised. However, Uncle Zhu was already wary of these people and would not easily believe them anymore. Regarding Lu Feng's words, Uncle Zhu was also wary of these people. Doubtful. Let's talk about this later. Uncle Zhu said something, then looked at the village chief and asked, Village chief, do you know who lives in that valley? Valley. The place was previously occupied by a group of bandits who robbed homes and committed all kinds of evil. When the village chief said this, he asked Uncle Zhu, Taoist priest, have you been to the valley? Are all the bandits there dead? Seeing Uncle Ju nodding, the village chief immediately said cheerfully, Okay. It's true that evil comes with evil consequences. The strong man who came last night was indeed true to his word and was a hero. These words have a certain meaning. The main reason is that the village chief just heard what Lu Feng said and felt it was inappropriate and biased. In the eyes of the village chief, neither Fang Yi nor the girl looked like bad people. What's more, they also helped the village get rid of the bandits and were kind to the village. Of course, the village chief is a smart man and would not dare to offend anyone by saying it directly. He could only vaguely remind Uncle Ju in this way. Here the village chief's words made Uncle Ju feel much better. The fact that the other party used bandits to raise corpses showed that they still had conscience in their hearts and would not harm innocent people. At the same time, Uncle Ju became more suspicious of the motives of Lu Feng and others. On the provincial road, Fang Yi was riding a horse with Su Zaicho, walking side by side. The provincial capital is far away. The two of them have been riding for six or seven hours. At our current speed, we can reach the provincial capital in about an hour. Su. Zaicho said while looking at the map. Fang Yi nodded and was about to say something. Suddenly, the sound of an engine came from behind. The two of them immediately looked back. They saw behind them, at the end of the provincial road, a there is a row of black dots. The black dots are moving very fast, getting closer and closer, and the sound of the engine is getting louder and louder. Fang Yi's mental attributes have been improved, and his eyesight is extraordinary. He can see those black dots. There were three-wheeled motorcycles and several old-fashioned pickup trucks following behind. After Fang Yi saw the driver of the motorcycle clearly, his eyes suddenly turned cold, and murderous intent burst out. At this time, Su Zaicho also saw clearly who was coming. I couldn't help but ask, Fang Yi, should we hide away? Need not, Fang, Yi looked calm. If there is a conflict later, just find an obstacle to hide and leave the rest to me. Su Zaicho's pretty face turned pale when he heard this, but he still nodded obediently. After spending the past two days with Fang Yi, Su Zaicho also had a general understanding of Fang Yi's character. This guy is definitely the kind of person who tells the truth. Soon, a motorcade caught up with Fang Yi and Su Zaicho and stopped in front of them. From the car, many soldiers wearing yellow military uniforms jumped out. They held bayonets and guns in their hands and looked at Fang Yi and Fang Yi unscrupulously with extremely aggressive eyes. When this group of soldiers saw the beautiful Su Zaicho, their eyes lit up, showing unabashed greed. Flower girl, yo west yo west, the leading officer with a mustache said something, causing many soldiers behind him to laugh mockingly. However, this was on a provincial highway. This group of soldiers did not rush to take action. Instead, they pointed at a traitor and said, yours, go over and question him. Okay, Taijin, the traitor was a middle-aged man. He nodded and bowed to the officer with a flattering smile. 
But when he turned his head and faced Fang Yi, his whole temperament instantly changed, becoming arrogant and arrogant. Where are you from? Where to go? The traitor glared at Fang Yi fiercely. Fang Yi didn't pay attention to the traitor at all. He kept observing this group of soldiers. Including the officers, there were a total of 20 people. In addition, Fang Yi also found that on those old trucks, there were actually quite a few people from the Sha Kingdom. Young women from the Sha Kingdom. All of them had their hands and feet tied, and they looked desperate. It seemed that they were prisoners of these soldiers, and they were going to take them somewhere. Seeing these miserable women, a word full of insults, suddenly appeared in Fang Yi's mind. Idiot! Seeing that Fang Yi ignored the traitor, the officer pretended to be very angry and couldn't wait to jump out and said a bird language. Translated. They are spies, arrest them and take them away. Hearing the words, the soldiers rushed up immediately. Fang Yi looked calm and gestured to Su Zaicho. Su Zaicho was also very smart and immediately hid behind a huge stone on the side of the road. Then Fang Yi took action brazenly. He stepped forward and directly when he came in front of the traitor, he was startled. The next moment, the traitor suddenly felt a sharp pain in his abdomen. He looked down and saw Fang Yi's right hand stabbing into his abdominal cavity at some point. Let me see if your heart is black, Fang Yi said calmly, and pulled hard. Poof, a heart that was still beating was actually taken out by Fang Yi directly from the traitor's belly. Ah, the traitor let out a howl of despair and fell in a pool of blood. He dug out the heart of a living person with his bare hands. This bloody scene frightened the yellow soldiers. Shot, shooting, the officer looked pale and gave orders loudly. Boom, 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 countless gunshots rang out. Fang Yi disappeared directly from where he was. It's not that he can teleport, it's that his speed was too fast, so fast that ordinary people couldn't see clearly. When Fang Yi appeared again, had already arrived behind the officer. He pinched the officer's chin and said calmly, such a dirty thing is just right for you. The words fell. Fang Yi grabbed the traitor's heart and stuffed it all into the officer's mouth. The officer rolled his eyes and was on the verge of suffocation. During this process, the soldiers kept shouting and cursing. Shot at Fang Yi. Boom, boom, boom. A large number of bullets hit Fang Yi's body. However, these bullets hit Fang Yi's body, but only broke his clothes. Even Fang Yi's skin could not penetrate. Even modern industrial guns, Fang Yi can already immune to most, let alone these powerful old models. Fang Yi just stood there, completely ignoring the bullets, and stuffed the heart in his hand into the officer's throat alive. You know, a human heart, the size of an adult's fist. If such a big thing is stuffed into the throat, it will definitely end badly. The officer who was shouting, flower girl, was suffocated to death in the end. Demon, he is a devil, the invincible devil, run quickly. The soldiers were frightened and fled one after another. Of course Fang Yi would not let them go. Pick up the stones from the ground, throw them out one by one, and break the legs of all the escaping soldiers. After a few minutes, all the soldiers fell to the ground, screaming and wailing. Fang Yi confiscated all their guns, ordered Su Zaicho to keep an eye on them, and then opened the truck himself. Looking at the group of panicked women in the truck compartment, Fang Yi sighed. You are free. When they heard this, the women couldn't believe it. After confirming that it was true, they all burst into tears. Although Fang Yi sympathized with them, he didn't have time to take care of them all the time. He pointed to another car of Huang Jun after looting the supplies, he said to these poor people, divide these things among yourselves and then find a place to start your life again. Throwing these words, Fang Yi turned around and left. Almost at the moment Fang Yi turned around, all the rescued women kneeled down and kowtowed to Fang Yi. Chapter 51 I changed my mind. Fang Yi stood next to Su Zaicho and suddenly said, Next, I don't plan to go to the provincial capital. His original plan was to go to the wharf of the provincial capital, control a ship, and head to the western countries. But now, Fang Yi has a better choice. Among the invading powers, which country can do the most harm to Sha? The heaviest, it must be the island country. Moreover, the island country is closer to the Sha Kingdom. It can be reached by boat in three or four days. There is no need to travel long distances to the west. Su Zaicho was stunned when he heard this, and then laughed he said, I'll just listen to you. Fang. Yi nodded and said to Su Zaicho, 
first move these beasts to the nearby woods. He was referring to the screaming soldiers on the ground. Except for the tragic deaths of the traitors and officers, the other soldiers are still alive. Next, the fate that awaits them is naturally being fed to zombies by Fang Yi. That night, when old master Ren saw the light of day again, waves of frightened screams rang out in the woods. Then, Fang Yi followed the same method, waiting for all the corpses of these soldiers to be transformed, and then divided them equally with Su Zaicho, killed them all one by one, and then burned them in a big fire. Zombies have great vitality. If it is not burned, there is still a possibility of resurrection, which will cause harm to the world. Later, Feng Yi took Su Zaicho and Mrs. Ren to a new destination, Huang Jun's military camp. The military camp is not far from here, only a few dozen miles away. This news was naturally obtained by Feng Yi from the soldiers who had just tortured them into confessing. In fact, there was not much torture to extract confessions. As long as Fang Yi releases Mr. Ren and bites a man to death in front of the soldiers, all the soldiers will immediately be frightened. Ask what you say. Fang Yi also knew that the mission of this military camp was not to fight. Instead, they smuggled Sha Kingdom's precious items to the island country for the big shots to make a fortune. Just right, Fang Yi wanted to go to the island country, so he wanted to go to the military camp. Xiao Su, how are you? Can you still withstand it? Fang Yi asked. At this moment, Su Zaicho's pretty face was full of exhaustion. She hadn't slept for two days and one night. I can still hold on. Su Zaicho responded gently. Fang Yi knew that this girl was being harsh. This was not just two days and one night without sleep, but also the whole time he was on the road, which consumed a lot of energy. Fang Yi could withstand it because he his physique and spirit are far beyond ordinary people. Su Zaicho can persist until now, which is already very good. Just be patient and wait until you get on the boat to have a good sleep. Fang Yi said. It's quiet at night. At this time. It's already 12 o'clock at midnight. In the dark. Fang Yi stood on a hillside, looking down at the military camp ahead. The military camp was brightly lit and there were many soldiers standing guard. It is surrounded by a wall with barbed wire and there are searchlights on the high platform, which are constantly scanning the surroundings of the military camp. It looks a bit like a modern military base. However, this military camp is very small, and in order to hide high-value goods from being discovered, Huang Jun built the military camp in a valley, just like a bandit's den. Fang Yi took a few glances and realized that as long as the front and back doors were blocked, not a single Huang Jun in the military camp could escape. Soon, a combat plan took shape in Fang Yi's mind. Xiao Su, you will be here later and knock out all the lights in the military camp. Can you do that? Su Zaicho nodded and tightened the rifle in his hand. Of course the rifles belonged to the soldiers before. Without bows and arrows, Su Zaicho's marksmanship was also first class and accurate. Although it is a bit far to shoot the lights in the military camp from here. But Su Zaicho he was still somewhat confident about his marksmanship. Fang Yi glanced at Su Zaicho and said, If any fish escape the net, I'll leave it to you to deal with it. Hearing this, Su Zaicho felt a little nervous. But she didn't say it out loud, and still nodded firmly in agreement. Because she didn't want to be useless. Next, the battle plan began. Fang Yi didn't know where to find it. A very large boulder, just carrying it, walking towards the military camp step by step. When they were approaching the entrance of the military camp, two soldiers who were standing guard discovered something unusual. Ida-san, there seems to be something over there. Nani, why did not I see? It's too dark to see clearly. I'll go over and have a look. A soldier was about to go over to check. On the hillside, Su Zaicho took action. I saw her change from her usual gentle demeanor, her eyes were sharp, she picked up the rifle and pointed it at the light in the military camp. Boom, a gunshot was heard. A lamp in the military camp shattered in response to the sound. No, there are enemies. Ready to fight. Soon, the alarm bells rang loudly in the military camp and there was chaos. Countless sleeping soldiers were awakened by the alarm bells. They hurriedly put on their military uniforms, picked up their weapons, and rushed out like wolves and tigers. Where are the enemies? Where is the enemy? What responded to them was a huge boulder flying from a distance. Boom. The boulder fell to the ground, making a sound like an earthquake. 
More than a dozen soldiers were killed instantly, and the boulder directly blocked the exit. Then, gunshots were heard again on the hillside in the distance. Almost after every gunshot, one of the lamps in the military camp was broken. Su Zaicho's shooting skills can definitely be regarded as a sharpshooter. Soon, all the lights were knocked out, and the military camp was pitch dark. Many soldiers panicked and ran around like headless flies. Idiot, don't panic, go get a flashlight. A man who looked like an officer reprimanded loudly. At this moment, a black shadow appeared in the darkness and flashed behind the officer. As soon as the officer noticed that there was someone behind him, he felt severe pain in his neck, and then he fell down and fell unconscious. The God of Death has sneaked into the military camp. Then, a massacre began in the darkness. And on the other side, Uncle Ju and others finally arrived in the provincial capital. Ah, in the military camp, screams were heard from time to time. At this time, half an hour had passed since Fang Yi invaded the military camp. The military camp had already fallen, and Fang Yi had successfully occupied it by force alone. And there were hundreds of soldiers in the military camp. Except for a few unlucky ones who were killed, most of them had their legs broken by Fang Yi and lay on the ground wailing. There was a big stone blocking the entrance, and all the Huang soldiers were like turtles in an urn, not one of them escaped. At this moment, Mr. Ren is here drinking so much that his mouth was full of blood. The appearance of old master Ren almost frightened the soldiers. Some of the timid ones were so frightened that they became incontinent or even passed out. As a zombie, old master Ren but regardless of whether you are unconscious or not, just don't hinder it from sucking blood. Although Mr. Ren no longer has legs, he has learned to crawl on the ground with his hands, and the speed of crawling is quite fast. Those who have broken legs the soldiers, one after another, could not outrun Mr. Ren, and they all died tragically in the mouth of Mr. Ren. On the second floor of the largest wooden house in the military camp, several officers were sitting on chairs, watching the zombies in the camp. They were biting people. They were so frightened that their faces turned pale, but they had to look. Because Fang Yi forced them to look, Su Zaicho was standing next to him with a gun in his hand, staring at him eagerly. Who dared to turn his head? Or if you close your eyes, you will get shot in the leg. How about it? Have you figured it out? There are not many soldiers left alive. If you haven't made a decision before all those soldiers are bitten to death, then it will be your turn. Fang Yi's faint voice rang in everyone's ears, like the king of hell urging orders. He spoke in island language, which these officers could definitely understand. Since entering this forbidden area, they have automatically mastered various languages in this world. This is the magical place in the forbidden area. As soon as Fang Yi's voice fell, there were officers, crying and begging for mercy. They were really frightened by old Master Ren. These officers would rather commit seppuku than die in the mouth of a zombie, the blood was sucked dry. Fang Yi laughed. Very good, when you send me to the island, I will let you live. Of course this is just talk. With the cooperation of these officers, the next plan can be implemented smoothly. Fang Yi first forced these officers to contact the cargo ship and dock it at the dock. Then he asked these officers to do hard work at the A deep pit was dug on the camp playground. After a few officers were so tired that they were sweating profusely and dug the deep pit, the soldiers who were bitten to death also began to slowly transform into corpses. The result was naturally that they were killed again, giving Fang Yi and Su Zaicho collect mission points. It is worth mentioning that after drinking the blood of hundreds of people, Mr. Ren's moral character has greatly improved. Now Mr. Ren has black hair all over his body, and his eyes are no longer scarlet but black eyes, no different from ordinary people. The most important thing is that Mr. Ren's body has become flexible and he seems to have mastered the ability to fly. With a slight jump, he can fly far away. If Uncle Ju is here you will definitely be surprised here. Because Mr. Ren's current state is very consistent with the characteristics of a high-level zombie, flying zombie. In addition, this time Mr. Ren seems to have learned well and has not acted stupidly, nor has he expanded due to the improvement of his strength to provoke Fang. After sucking the blood of the soldiers, it also wanted to suck the blood of the officers. However, when Fang Yi looked over, Mr. Ren immediately became obedient and stayed aside obediently, not at all like before. He looked so fierce. It made Fang Yi feel a little uncomfortable. Well, 
Have you learned enough? It makes me want to beat you, but I can't find an excuse. Fang. Yi sighed in his heart and slowly loosened his fist. Half an hour later, all the corpse turned soldiers were burned in the pit. Fang Yi and Su Zaicho's mission points skyrocketed again. If they choose to return at this time, they will definitely get a very good mission evaluation. However, Fang Yi was not satisfied yet. He has only one goal. Just get the highest task rating. Next, he will turn the entire island country into a paradise for zombies and then crazily earn mission points. Time. It's already around 5 or 6 in the morning. Sir, the cargo ship has arrived at the dock. An officer stepped forward, bowed his head and said to Fang Yi. The attitude is extremely humble. Fang Yi nodded and prepared to leave. At this time, outside the military camp, the sound of a car engine suddenly came from. Fang Yi immediately looked outside the military camp. I saw an old-fashioned large truck driving from a distance and parked outside the military camp. Immediately afterwards, several foreigners got out of the car and looked at the damaged military camp in surprise. Oh by it, can anyone tell me what's going on here? Fang. Yi's expression changed, and he asked the officers beside him, what do these foreigners do? Them. The officer was sweating, but he finally said truthfully, they are businessmen who came to buy antiques. Hearing this, Fang Yi understood instantly. It is clear. These officers were responsible for collecting valuables and taking them back to the big shots. At the same time, they did not forget to earn some extra money for themselves and secretly sold antiques to foreigners. Subsequently, Fang Yi smiled. He strode up to several foreigners and announced, From now on, you are all my prisoners. The foreigners. Originally, Fang Yi was also worried that after getting on the ship, what if these officers were determined to die with him and secretly destroy the cabin when the ship sailed to the depths of the ocean? Although the possibility of this happening is low. But Fang Yi also had to guard against it. Fang Yi's plan at the beginning was to work in two shifts with Su Zaicho to keep an eye on these people and prevent them from making small moves. Now these foreigners have appeared. The problem he was worried about just now. Solved immediately. Let these foreigners keep an eye on it, or even let them take the helm, and there won't be any problems. Because what Fang Yi wants to harm is the country on the island. This is not a country for foreigners. They definitely wouldn't want to die with Fang Yi. As long as there is a glimmer of hope of survival, they will cooperate with Fang Yi honestly. Hearing that Fang Yi wanted to capture them, the foreigners were stunned for a moment, and then laughed. The leader, a strong white man, said fiercely, Hey! Yellow-skinned boy, do you know what the consequences of what you just said will be? You are provoking our country, the Great Eagle and Dog Country, and you want the two countries to start a war. The strong white man thought that after he said these words, Fang Yi would get scared, and then explain to him that if he wanted to reconcile, he could take the opportunity to rip off the antiques and keep the price of the antiques to the lowest, but the strong white man was disappointed. Fang Yi looked very calm. It was as if what he just said was completely false, next moment. Fang Yi suddenly slapped him. The speed is as fast as lightning. Before the strong white man could see clearly what was happening, he heard a click, and his neck was broken by Fang Yi, and he was dead. Originally Fang Yi didn't want to kill him. But this man has such a bad mouth, he is just seeking death. In addition, Fang Yi also discovered something. I don't seem to have any objection to killing people. What is going on? A born killer. Fang Yi looked at the remaining foreigners and asked indifferently, Now, as prisoners, do you have any objections? Provincial capital, Lu Feng, Song Ming and others, all with red eyes, found Uncle Ju who was resting in the inn. They didn't sleep all night again. Uncle Ju, we were all deceived by that village chief. The provincial capital is very nice and everything is normal. They have never been to the provincial capital at all. Song Ming yelled. Uncle Ju frowned. They didn't like the impolite young man in front of them. Lu Feng saw Uncle Ju's displeasure, glared at Song Ming, and whispered, Uncle Ju, you should use the magic of inviting gods. Bar. The immortal guides the way. It is a kind of invitation to God. Yes, Uncle Ju. Meng Shu also said beside him, Once you miss the opportunity to deal with the zombies, when the zombies become stronger, I'm afraid it will really cause disaster. Uncle Ju was so noisy by these people that he had a headache. He sighed helplessly and agreed. Good. Actually, 
Uncle Ju doesn't want to use immortals to guide the way all the time. Using too much divine magic is very damaging to one's vitality and is a Taoist technique that shortens lifespan. Both apprentices have not yet matured, and Uncle Ju doesn't want to die so early. But now, don't be afraid that it won't work anymore. Uncle Ju was also afraid that if the old man grew up and couldn't deal with it, it would really bring disaster to all the people. Then, Uncle Ju opened the altar and used the immortal to guide the way. Puff, just when the Taoist technique was successful, Uncle Ju suddenly vomited out a large mouthful of blood, and his face turned a little pale. Uncle Ju, are you okay? Meng Shu asked quickly. Uncle Ju waved his hands and said, it's okay. The zombie's location has been determined. It's not far from here. Let's chase it quickly. Everyone supported Uncle Ju and rushed towards the direction pointed by the paper man. The other side. At this time, there were several more white people in Fang Yi's army of captives. Afterwards, everyone set off together to the dock. Since the military camp is engaged in smuggling business, the location of the dock is also very hidden. On the shore of a cliff. When Fang Yi and others felt it, they saw a cargo ship moored quietly at the dock. There are several sailors on the deck, holding binoculars and observing the shore. Fang Yi discovered them, and these sailors naturally also saw Fang Yi and others, only. When the sailors saw that the hands of all officers and foreigners were tied, they immediately realized that the situation had changed and sounded the alarm. Fang Yi didn't say anything and just let the dog go. No, he let the old man go. After receiving Fang Yi's approval, Mr. Ren roared, flew directly to the freighter, and started killing. Soon, gunshots and terrified screams were heard from the freighter. Looking at old Master Ren killing everyone, Fang Yi narrowed his eyes slightly, with a cold light flashing in his eyes. Mr. Ren, who has evolved into a flying zombie, is very powerful. Maybe if it evolves again, it will be difficult even for Fang Yi to win it. So, Fang Yi made up his mind to deal with old Master Ren when he got to the island, nip the threat in the cradle, and avoid future troubles forever. Fang Yi, Su Zaicho. At this time, an angry shout suddenly came from behind. Fang Yi and Su Zaicho turned around and saw Uncle Ju and several geniuses from Martial God Academy rushing there. It's you, Song. Ming sneered, but his expression was unusually ferocious. You two fools are really easy for us to find. Others looked at Fang Yi and Su Zaicho with cold eyes, not concealing their murderous intent. Su Zaicho's pretty face changed slightly when he saw the geniuses from the Martial Arts Academy. However, thinking about Fang Yi's strength, she felt at ease again. The geniuses of Wushan Academy are really powerful. Possess the gift of a hero. But, so what, no matter how powerful he is, he can't be stronger than Fang Yi. Su Zaicho is full of confidence in his career. Fang Yi, on the other hand, looked calm. Judging from your appearance, you must have accepted the mission of killing zombies, right? Fang Yi flicked his fingers and said with a smile, it seems that everyone wants to go together. Song Ming suddenly shouted, Fang Yi, you are a piece of garbage from Wusheng Academy. You dare to snatch food from the tiger's mouth and make us look for you for so long. You are dead today, and even the king of heaven can't save you. This guy is really brainless. Before killing people, he actually said it loudly. Doesn't it make the enemy defensive? However, at this moment, Lu Feng and others did not blame Song Ming. It was because they were also attacked by Fang Ming. Yi was so angry that he was holding a fire in his heart. He wanted to kill Fang Yi immediately to vent his anger. Lu Feng took a step forward and asked, Fang Yi, where are the zombies? As soon as he finished speaking, a black figure flew out from the freighter and landed steadily next to Fang Yi. Although the black figure was covered in black hair, with a green face and fangs, and a mouth full of blood, it looked like a terrifying monster. But it stood on Fang Yi's side. But Fang Yi seemed very well behaved. In addition, Fang Yi was a little surprised to find that old Mrs. Ren's feet were actually healed. Of course, this was not grown by old Mrs. Ren himself. Although zombies have the ability to regenerate, they will never be like this. Soon, a new pair of feet will grow. You don't need to guess, it must be old man Ren, who just cut off someone else's feet on the freighter and reattached them to himself. Fang Yi was a little surprised. He knew and to behave like this would make an old man smart, at least as smart as a seven or eight-year-old child. 
see zombies appear. Lu Feng and others all looked happy. However, Uncle Ju's expression changed drastically. Because only Uncle Ju could see how dangerous Mr. Ren is now. Flying stiff. Uncle Ju looked at Fang Yi in great horror and covered with sweat. Young man, you, you are in big trouble. Uncle Ju has only heard of flying zombies, but has never encountered them. He only knows that zombies that have reached this level are very powerful. Not only can they fly, they are not even afraid of the sun. They are real giants of evil. Uncle Ju has seen the master according to the records, every time Feiji appeared, it would definitely bring disaster to all living beings. He never expected that in just two days, Feng Yi would actually raise Mr. Ren into Feiji. Old Mr. Ren was not infected. Zombies are raised from the land of Yin Qi, so they have good qualifications. Trouble. Uncle Ju is not sure at all about Fei Zheng. Oh, flying stiff. Feng Yi doesn't understand the zombie levels, but seeing Uncle Ju's anxious and frightened look, he should be able to tell that flying zombies should be very powerful, right? In the original plot, Mr. Ren only evolved once, and he forced Uncle Ju and Simu Dao he tried his best and almost lost. But Mr. Ren had already evolved twice in Fang Yi's hands. Uncle Ju, is Fei Zheng very powerful? Fang Yi asked knowingly. Of course it's awesome, Uncle Ju said uneasily. It's already dawn now. Look at it. Are there any signs of being afraid of light? Speaking of which, Uncle Ju suddenly realized something was wrong. Logically speaking, Mr. Ren, who is already at the level of flying zombie, should not be afraid of an ordinary person. Why didn't he kill someone? Still standing next to that young man so obediently. How strange. Does that young man have any tips for controlling zombies? But when Fang Yi heard Uncle Ju's reminder, he realized that Mr. Ren was indeed not afraid of light. Not like before. As long as it's daytime. Old Master Ren is like a dead dog. Hiding in the dark and not daring to move. You fool, it seems you have learned a lot. His strength has improved so much, yet he is still so low-key. How? Thinking of backstabbing me while I'm not paying attention. Fang Yi looked at Mr. Ren and cursed rudely. Mr. Ren didn't understand. But it didn't stop him from being afraid of Fang Yi. The previous beatings were still fresh in Mr. Ren's memory. Before his strength could get any closer, Mr. Ren, he no longer dared to show his teeth to Fang Yi. Seeing Mr. Ren's submissive look, Uncle Ju was even more surprised. He was about to say something when he was suddenly interrupted. What's the matter with flying zombies and not flying zombies? Shut up, everyone. Song. Ming said loudly. Fang Yi, and the women named Su, please kneel down and kowtow to me right away, and I can give you a good time. Uncle Ju stopped him and said, you can't kill him. This young man must have a way to control Fei Zong. Once he is killed, there will be no one to control Fei Zong, and the world will be in chaos. Song Ming has long been impatient with Uncle Ju. Before, he had no choice but to rely on Uncle Ju to find the zombies, so he endured it. Now, Uncle Ju has no use value in his eyes, and he immediately reveals his true colors. Get away, you old immortal thing. If you dare to make any noise again, I will kill you too. Although the foreign and island officers did not understand Chinese, but the tense atmosphere between the two sides can still be seen. They are happy to see this happen. It would be best if both sides fight and then die together, then they will be free. You, when has Uncle Ju ever been scolded like this by a young man? He suddenly became angry and wanted to teach him a lesson. Uncle Ju, why bother with an uneducated person? Not worth it, Fang Yi said with a smile. After hearing this, Song Ming immediately looked at Fang Yi fiercely. Good boy, if you have the guts, don't beg for mercy later. I will torture you well. First. I will turn you into a zombie, and then I'll torture you. The fire will burn you and leave you dead without any body. At this time, Zhao Fusheng, who had never spoken before, suddenly said, Fang Yi, right. Do you really have the ability to control zombies? If there is any, hand it over and I can make the decision and spare your life. Song Ming was about to refute, but when he saw that the person speaking was Zhao Fusheng, he immediately shut up. It seems that you still haven't figured out the situation. Fang. Yi shook his head and laughed. Well, since you like to talk about death so much, then I will help you. Uncle Ju, get out of the way to avoid being accidentally hurt. After reminding Uncle Ju, 
Feng Yi looked at Mr. Fei Zan Ren next to him and slapped him. Snapped. This slap shocked Uncle Ju. Why are you still stunned? Go drink blood, Feng Yi said calmly. After receiving Feng Yi's order, Mr. Ren immediately roared and rushed towards several students from Wushan Academy. Just now, Mr. Ren was next to Feng Yi, with a low eyebrow, looking like a slave, keeping a low profile. Showed. Then he roared, his temperament suddenly changed, and he burst out with endless sinister energy, fierce and majestic, quite like a big devil. When several people from Wushan Academy saw this, their expressions suddenly changed. The first target of Mr. Ren's attack was Song Ming, who was standing at the front. Seeing the zombies rushing towards him, Song Ming did not dare to neglect and immediately raised his hands. Many new branches quickly grew from his arms. A large net of branches was formed, and it was snared towards Mr. Ren. What this guy inherited was the 24th, green, ability of the A-class hero. He could transform into branches and control them, which was an ability with great potential. Once he grows into a strong man, he can even control a large area of the forest. However, Song Ming is far from being able to compete with the strong men now. The large net of branches he weaved, although the net caught old Mrs. Ren, it had no effect at all. The infinitely strong old man Ren broke free from the control of the tree branch with just a slight shock. Seeing the sharp claws of old man Ren coming, Song Ming's face suddenly turned pale. He couldn't escape. A critical moment. A sword light appears. Atomic chop. Lu Feng shouted low, and the sword in his hand was danced with sword flowers. A large amount of sword light cut towards Mr. Ren's arm. This move was very fast. Mr. Ren had no time to react before he was hit. Puff, puff. I saw dozens of wounds of various sizes on old man Ren's arm. Some wounds are so deep that they can be seen to the bone. This Lu Feng actually swung dozens of swords in an instant. Atomic Samurai's unique move, Atomic Slash, is really powerful. Pity. Such injuries are insignificant to Mr. Ren. As long as Mr. Ren's arm is not cut off directly, it won't take long for Mr. Ren to recover from his injuries. Bang! Old Master Ren slapped Lu Feng away. Then he grabbed Song Ming and bit Song Ming's neck. Ah! Song Ming screamed. He wanted to ask for help, but he couldn't speak. Because his throat had been bitten off. This scene shocked several people in the martial arts academy. What happened? After just one encounter, Lu Feng was injured, and even took Song Ming's life. Song Ming came from the Song family, and he had a lot of background. If he really died here, all of them would be in trouble. Save him quickly, another young man shouted, and several steel balls appeared in his hand, and he threw them at old man Ren with all his strength. This man inherited the ability of the 29th A-class hero, Keita. The steel balls thrown were more powerful than bullets. It must be powerful. Unfortunately, it is still useless against old Mrs. Ren. Now old Mrs. Ren is already at the level of flying zombies, with all the muscles and bones as hard as steel. Just now, Lu Feng was able to cut through old Mrs. Ren's skin, which was already very good. Basically it is impossible to cut through the hard bones of Mr. Ren. Among them, Lu Feng has the strongest attack power. Even Lu Feng is helpless against Mr. Ren, let alone the others. Puff, puff, the steel ball hit Mr. Ren's body, and fell down as if it were hitting a steel plate. The young man's face changed with fright, and he had the idea of escape in his mind. At this moment, they, the proud men of heaven, finally saw this. Here we go, the flying zombies are so powerful. Monster, stop. A loud shout came. It was Uncle Ju who couldn't see it. He took out the peach wood sword from behind, bit his finger, and wiped his blood on the sword. Suddenly, the peach wood sword emitted a dazzling golden light. This was Uncle Ju the most powerful move. Then, Uncle Ju raised his sword and stabbed towards Mr. Ren. Poof! The peach wood sword only penetrated Mr. Ren's body a little, but it caused a lot of damage, and the wound burned directly. Roar! Mr. Ren was in pain and let out a beast-like roar. He immediately abandoned Song Ming, who had been bitten to death, and swiped at Uncle Ju. Uncle Ju's sword was still on Mr. Ren, so he had no time to dodge, so he had to raise his arm, to protect his body. Plop! Uncle Ju was hit by Mrs. Ren's claw, flew far away, and fell heavily to the ground. Then, he vomited out a mouthful of blood. What a powerful beast!
saw Uncle Ju take action. Fang Yi frowned. Just now, Song Ming scolded Uncle Ju for being old and immortal, and even threatened to kill Uncle Ju. In the end, Uncle Ju still wanted to save people. This operation was a bit cheap to be honest. But, Fang Yi knows, Uncle Ju is such a person. There was a sense of righteousness in Uncle Ju's heart. Take it as your duty to subjugate and eliminate demons. Uncle Ju would not stand idly by when he saw zombies killing people. At this time, Old Master Ren was already angered by Uncle Ju's sword. It immediately abandoned the group of people from Wushan Academy and rushed towards Uncle Ju. High speed. Uncle Ju was horrified, but he was seriously injured and it was inconvenient to escape. Seeing Fei Zan coming after him fiercely, Uncle Ju's eyes showed a hint of disintegration. This is ready to go all out. At this time, um, it was Fang Yi who made a cold snort. Hearing this cold snort, Mr. Ren immediately shuddered and shuddered, with a look of fear in his eyes, and his body stopped dangerously like a sudden break. He was full of fierceness his breath also took advantage of the situation, and his eyebrows became lowered again. Uncle Ju, who was about to fight for his life, was shocked. He snorted coldly, to frighten Fei Zong like this. Isn't this too exaggerated? Go, bite them. Fang Yi waved his hand, and Mr. Ren immediately felt as if he had been granted amnesty. He showed a ferocious face again and went after the people from Wushan Academy and others. Boy, do you really have complete control over this flying zombie? Which method is used? Uncle Ju asked in surprise. Taoism, Fang, Yi shook his head and did not explain. He looked at Uncle Ju and said, Uncle Ju, these people deserve to die. Why are you doing this? Uncle Ju was silent for a while and said firmly, it is the responsibility of us alchemists to subjugate and eliminate demons. Pedantic, Fang, Yi said angrily, today, you have to change your rules. Just watch it honestly, stop interfering, otherwise, you will die. Hearing this, Uncle Ju's face turned blue and white. He knew that what Fang Yi said was true. Even if he tried his best just now, he was definitely no match for Fei Zan. Ah, another scream came. This time, it was the girl named Mengshu who was accidentally scratched on the neck by Mrs. Ren. Judging from the heavy blood flow, she might have injured a major artery. No, saved. When we came, there were six people in Wushan Academy. In just a short time, two people were reduced. They finally realized the gap between themselves and Fei Zan. Zhao Fusheng, help me stop this beast. Lu Feng shouted loudly, and grasped the hilt of the sword tightly with his right hand, as if he was accumulating strength. He was obviously holding back his ultimate move. Seeing this, Zhao Fusheng finally showed his true strength. He clenched his fists, with a click, the clothes on his body collapsed due to muscles. Then, he strode forward and hugged old Mrs. Ren. But old Mrs. Ren's sharp claws grabbed Zhao Fusheng's body, and only it can leave faint traces but cannot penetrate the skin. This scene made Fang Yi a little surprised. He quickly recognized that Zhao Fusheng's talent should be the super alloy black light that he inherited from the 11th S class hero. Super alloy black light's muscles are extremely developed and hard, and its physical defense is second to none among S class heroes. This Zhao Fusheng already has some of the strength of super alloy black light. The next moment, Lu Feng's ultimate move finally charged up finished. Get out of the way. When Zhao Fusheng heard this, he immediately jumped away. And Lu Feng's whole body was like a shadow, rushing towards Mr. Ren. Atomic chop. A large number of sword lights were strangled towards Mr. Ren. In just an instant, Mr. Ren's body was covered with knife wounds. Ouch, Lu Feng's blow had some effect. It hurt Mr. Ren. The battle between the two sides stunned Uncle Ju and others. I guess even Uncle Ju didn't expect that there are such fast people in this world. Swordsmanship. What a pity. Such an attack is still not enough for an immortal Fei Zong. Roar. Old Master Ren roared, ignoring the sword wounds on his body, and rushed towards Lu Feng. Lu Feng's face was pale. He didn't even know how to hide while he was standing there. It wasn't that he was frightened. It was that the atomic slash move just now had already it exhausted all his energy. After all, he was just a beginner and could not be as powerful as a real atomic warrior. At the critical moment, Zhao Fusheng took action again. He knocked Lu Feng away and rushed towards Old Man Ren, again hug Old Man Ren. You go quickly. 
Zhao Fusheng said loudly, he has realized that he and others are no match for Fei Zan. He is the only one who can hold Fei Zheng back. Let others leave first, and then he retreats. From this point of view, Zhao Fusheng is quite talkative, loyal. However, he underestimated the anger of Mr. Ren at this moment. Seeing Zhao Fusheng entangled himself again, Mr. Ren suddenly opened his bloody mouth and bit Zhao Fusheng directly on the forehead. Be careful, Uncle Ju's reminder sounded, but it was a step too late. Click, there was a crisp sound. Zhao Fusheng's skull was bitten into pieces by Mr. Ren. Compared with the real super alloy black light, Zhao Fusheng's defense was still much worse. He misjudged his own strength and made him pay for it. The price of life. Zhao Fusheng died. The remaining people are no match for Mr. Ren. The second one died. It's Lu Feng, this inheritor of the Atomic Samurai, the proud son of the Martial God Academy, originally had a very bright future. He was favored by many mentors, regarded as the seed of a strong man, and carefully cultivated. Now, he died in the number three forbidden area. The fallen genius. He is no longer a genius. Regarding the deaths of these geniuses, Feng Yi looked calm and completely indifferent. Since these people are thinking of killing him, being killed in counterattack is completely justified. Following Liu Feng's death, the two remaining students from the Martial Arts Academy immediately collapsed and completely lost their confidence to resist. They screamed in terror and ran away in panic. Uncle Ju couldn't stand it anymore, and advised from the side, You have to be merciful, young man, please stop the zombies quickly. Feng Yi rolled his eyes and was too lazy to pay attention to Uncle Ju. What he emphasizes is that I will not offend others unless they offend me. If someone offends me, then eradicate it. What is, forgiving others when they have to be spared? It's not within the scope of Fang Yi's consideration at all. Ah, a scream came. Another person from Wushan Academy fell down. Only the last person was left, but he did not choose to continue running away, because he knew that he could not outrun a flying zombie. Plop, the last person, stopped unexpectedly, turned around and knelt down towards Fang Yi. Fang Yi, stop the zombies. I'll tell you a big secret. Don't kill me. Oh, Fang Yi is indeed very interested in the secrets told by this young man. Stop, he shouted. When he heard Fang Yi's voice, Mr. Ren, who was rushing towards the young man, stopped immediately. He was more obedient than a dog. Fang Yi looked at the young man and asked condescendingly, Tell me, what is the secret? The young man swallowed and said, Actually, it's not us who want to kill you, but our mentor. Before coming here, our mentor had come to us privately and asked us to kill you and Su Zaicho here. Hearing this, Fang Yi was stunned. Tutor of Wushan Academy. Wang Liang's face could not help but appear in his mind. But what Fang Yi couldn't understand was why Wang Liang wanted his students to chase him. Kill him. Behind Fang Yi, Su Zaicho, who had never spoken, suddenly stepped forward and asked, without any injustice or enmity, your mentor, why did you send you to kill us? At this moment, Su Zaicho's pretty face was cold and her eyes were full of anger. The instructor of Wushan Academy actually ordered his students to chase her and Fang Yi in the forbidden area. It's simply unreasonable. Of course it's because you made him feel threatened. At this moment, the young man hated Wang Liang so much that he didn't want to hide anything for Wang Liang. He just poured beans out of a bamboo tube and told everything he knew. Our tutor Wang Liang and your tutor Yan Tai were not just classmates. Wang Liang was also an adopted son adopted by the Yan family. The two of them are brothers and grew up together. Later, after graduation, the two competed together for the position of tutor at Wushan Academy. Originally, Wushan Academy was more inclined to your tutor Yan Tai. In order to get the tutor position of Wushan Academy, Wang Liang deliberately framed Yan Tai, ruined Yan Tai's reputation, and successfully forced Yan Tai away. I also heard that Yan Tai had a childhood sweetheart girlfriend at the time, who eventually fell into Wang Liang's hands and became Wang Liang's wife. These things are all true after we have painstakingly investigated them. If you don't believe me, you can go back and ask your instructor. No need to go back and ask. Fang Yi also believed it. Everything this guy says is true. No wonder, Lao Yan has such a big opinion against Wang Liang. It turns out that such a bloody thing happened between the two of them. It can be called the drama of the year. Fang Yi could even guess what Wang Liang was thinking. 
It was probably because he had lived in the shadow of Yantai for half his life and developed a morbid revenge mentality, so he did these shameless things. The young man continued. As for why Wang Liang sent us to hunt you down, it is probably because he feels that if you two grow up, Yan Tai, as a mentor, will also reap great benefits and become a threat to him, so, in this world, there is a coexistence of interests between university tutors and students. If a tutor cultivates outstanding college students, it is not just as simple as gaining an outstanding student, but the country will also reward him. Wang Liang doesn't want this to happen. He wants Yan Tai to be trapped in the quagmire forever and prove that he is better than him. Therefore, it makes sense to send his own students to hunt down student Yan Tai, only. Wang Liang never dreamed that. Fang Yi is now a cheater. After listening to the young man's words, a speechless expression flashed across Su Zaicho's pretty face. It was indeed quite speechless that she suffered a fatal disaster like this. If Fang Yi hadn't been so powerful, if it had been anyone else, he would have been unable to escape the pursuit of these geniuses from Wushan Academy. Fang Yi, I have told you everything I know. I am not the one who really wants to kill you. Please let me go, Fang Yi. The young man's words stopped abruptly. At some point, a bloody hole appeared on his forehead. In the end, the young man fell down unwillingly. Fang Yi flicked his fingers and said calmly, It's impossible to let you go. The most I can do is give you a break and not let you experience the pain of being bitten to death by a zombie. You, seeing Fang Yi take action and kill the last young man, Uncle Ju looked ugly. He has told you his secret, why do you still want to kill him? Fang Yi ignored Uncle Ju. He looked at Su Zaicho and asked, Xiao Su, what do you think of my actions? Su. Zaicho said calmly, it is right to kill him, otherwise when he returns to Martial God Academy, he will definitely retract his confession and bring us huge trouble. Hearing this, Fang Yi suddenly laughed. Yes, Xiao Su, you have made a lot of progress. When Su Zaicho heard this, he couldn't help but roll his eyes at Fang Yi. This annoying guy kept saying, little Su, and called her a generation younger in vain. What sect is Wushan Academy? Uncle Ju frowned and asked, where are you from? Uncle Ju, it's better that you don't know this question. Fang. Yi replied with a smile and said to the group of prisoners, It's time to go, let's go. At this time, Uncle Ju suddenly blocked Fang Yi's way. Etc. Uncle Ju looked at Fang Yi seriously and said, Young man, you are too murderous and not suitable for controlling Fei Zheng. This zombie has become a climate. If it escapes your control, it will cause harm to the world and no one can stop it. Fang Yi frowned. So, Uncle Ju, what do you want to say? If you cooperate with me, we can kill Feiji right here and avoid future troubles forever. Uncle Ju had a righteous look on his face. However, Fang Yi had completely lost his patience with Uncle Ju's pedantic ideas. He simply stepped aside, pointed at Mr. Ren behind him, and said to Uncle Ju, Uncle Ju, the zombies are here. This, if you want to kill, do it quickly. Uncle Ju was confused. You, you won't help me. Help you, why should I help you? Fang Yi said rudely, this zombie is my dog. You want to kill my dog, and you want me to help you. If you need motivation, hurry up, I'm in a hurry. Uncle Ju's face was grim. He looked at Fang Yi and said, young man, if you keep this zombie, sooner or later it will become a serious problem for you. Then, Uncle Ju raised his sword and walked toward the zombies with a generous and righteous look on his face. In fact, Uncle Ju was also afraid of death. However, he knew the dangers of zombies, especially flying zombies. If they are not stopped today, flying zombies will continue to evolve. There will be no chance to stop it in the future. What Uncle Ju hopes now is that his unique move can kill this flying zombie in front of him. Otherwise, there will be a catastrophe in the world. Looking at Uncle Ju's back, Fang Yi frowned he frowned, but in the end he didn't stop him. Although Uncle Ju was indeed upright and upright, which he admired very much, it was stupid to do something even though he knew he couldn't do it. If a person wanted to die on his own, he wouldn't stop him. Su Zaicho looked at it look at Fang Yi, seeing that Fang Yi didn't speak. She thought for a while and didn't speak either. Finally, Uncle Ju came to Mr. Ren. Monster, suffer death. Uncle Ju shouted, holding a wooden sword and killing the zombies. There was an inexplicable look in Mr. Ren's eyes. 
he probably couldn't understand why he didn't let himself off just now when he had clearly let him go. Come and attack it according to your strength. Faced with Uncle Ju's attack, Mr. Ren backed away and looked at Fang Yi with doubtful eyes. Seeing Fang Yi's expressionless face, Mr. Ren became even more confused. Next, Uncle Ju kept chasing the zombies, beating, forcing the zombies to retreat again and again, further and further back, further and further away. After a moment, old man Ren seemed to be irritated, showing his fangs, roaring, and slapped Uncle Ju away with one claw. Plop, Uncle Nine hit him hard. He fell to the ground, struggling to stand up and fight again, but found that his arm had been broken by a zombie. Suddenly, Uncle Ju looked desperate. With his arm broken, he could not use his special move. At this time, Ren when the old man saw that Fang Yi didn't respond, he immediately showed his true face and rushed towards Uncle Ju. Uncle. Ju was already desperate, so he stopped resisting and closed his eyes to wait for death. However, at this moment, something unexpected happened to everyone. A situation has arisen. After Mr. Ren pounced on Uncle Ju, he did not kill him. Instead, he followed the attack and flew directly into the distance. Even a fool could see it. Mr. Ren wanted to escape. Quote, comma, comma, quote. Uncle Ju was confused and had no idea what was going on. In the distance, Fang Yi's face darkened. He finally understood. Old Master Ren was acting just now. Deliberately taking advantage of the fight with Uncle Ju, he retreated far away, just to leave his side. The claw that slapped Uncle Ju away also fanned farther away. This fool will use a secret strategy to seduce Chen Kang. He is really an ignorant white-eyed wolf. Feng Yi said lightly, and finally took action. I saw his body slowly bending, making a gesture of accumulating strength. The next moment, boom, there was an explosion on the spot. The ground with a radius of 10 meters was exploded by Feng Yi's step, and gravel flew everywhere. But Feng Yi, with the help of the force of the shock, jumped up high, like a bullet being discharged, quickly he caught up with Mr. Ren who was flying. This scene made everyone around him stunned. Su Zaicho was okay. Especially Uncle Ju and the prisoners. Even if they were killed, they would never have imagined that. Fang Yi could be so strong. Explosive power. Is this still immortal? Call. The sound of breaking the air from behind made Mr. Ren turn around subconsciously in midair. When it saw Fang Yi's murderous face, approaching quickly. Suddenly, Mr. Ren was so frightened that he was covered in black. The hair stood on end. He actually fell directly from the air. Fang Yi also twisted around, followed the landing, and stepped on Mr. Ren's back. Mr. Ren was extremely frightened and let out a, woo-woo, cry from his mouth. It seemed, he's screaming, he seems to be begging for mercy. Fang Yi has no expression on his face, looking down at Mr. Ren who is struggling on the ground. It seems that if I haven't beaten you for a day, you have forgotten what it feels like to be beaten, right? What a beast that forgets the pain once the scar is healed. Fang Yi rolled up his sleeves as he spoke, revealing his fist as big as a casserole. Then he punched the zombie on the ground. Boom. A heavy impact sounded. The whole ground shook. Far away at the pier, Uncle Ju and others felt the vibration of the ground beneath their feet. Ouch. Old Master Ren suddenly let out a shrill howl. Uncle Ju and others looked at Fang Yi with horrified expressions. He punched out. It was like an earthquake. They couldn't believe it. This is the power that humans can produce. It's so terrifying. Boom. Another punch. The ground shook again. Old Master Ren howled miserably and quickly used his sharp claws to grab Fang Yi. Careful. Su Zaicho couldn't help but remind Fang Yi loudly. She didn't know why she wanted to remind Fang Yi. Fang Yi was obviously so powerful that she didn't need to remind him, but she just couldn't help it. Of course Mr. Ren can't hurt Fang Yi. Its speed was too slow in Fang Yi's eyes. Fang Yi didn't even mean to dodge. He came first and grabbed old Master Ren's claw. He twisted it and broke old Master Ren's claw. Yo, now that you have become more capable, you still dare to resist. Can you afford to pay for ruining my clothes? Then, without saying a word, Fang Yi started beating the zombies non-stop. Boom, 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 the roar continued. Under Fang Yi's fist, it was like a small earthquake occurred at the dock. As for the person who was beaten by Fang Yi non-stop, old Mrs. Ren, on the other hand, 
kept screaming in agony, and his end was miserable. Tragic. The beating was so brutal. In the end, old Mrs. Ren didn't even have the strength to scream. And Uncle Ju and the prisoners watched Fang Yi beating the zombies violently, his eyes were horrified, his scalp was numb, and he was almost frightened. The Demon King. This is the real Demon King. He was just flying stiff. In front of Fang Yi, it was nothing. Until this moment, Uncle Ju finally understood that that young man, there is no way to control zombies at all. In other words, the other party's method of controlling zombies is to rely on their own strength to tame them violently. No wonder, that flying zombie is so afraid of the other party. Oh, God, is he an angel incarnate? No, angels are not as evil as him, he is Ares, the god of war. Several foreigners said one after another. Several other island officers also exclaimed in low voices. God Amaterasu, this person is truly terrifying. His power is beyond the scope of mortals. What should we do? Do you really want to take him to the island? They are all of our race there. Norima Sajiro, maybe it's time for us to dedicate ourselves to Amaterasu. It seems that this is the only way to do it. These island officers seem to have forgotten the existence of Su Zaicho. As an outsider, Su Zaicho, like Fang Yi, can understand all the languages here, but Su Zaicho is very smart. She pretended not to hear anything. Let's wait until Fang Yi comes to talk about everything. It didn't take long. Fang Yi grabbed one of old Mrs. Ren's legs, dragging old Mrs. Ren back to the dock like a dead dog. Uncle Ju, I'm in a hurry. If nothing happens, you should go home quickly. Fang Yi said. Uncle Ju looked like he was hesitating to speak, but in the end he didn't say anything. What else could he say? Is he afraid that Fei Zong will come out and cause trouble to everyone? With the terrifying Fang Yi around, Fei Zong simply can't can't afford any big waves. You guys, take all these corpses with you. Fang Yi pointed to several corpses of students from the Martial Arts Academy on the ground and ordered a few prisoners to be porters. Most of these corpses were killed by zombies. If left here alone, they would turn into corpses. When they arrived on the freighter, there were also many corpses in the freighter. Fang Yi continued to let the prisoners clean up and gathered all the corpses in the cabin. When the corpses changed, he would kill them one by one. Then, the freighter started up and drove slowly with billowing smoke. Toward the sea. Uncle Ju looked at the departing freighter, sighed heavily, and left with a lonely look. At this time, in the best room on the freighter, Fang Yi smiled and said to Su Zaicho, You can have a good rest now, and just lock the door later. Don't worry. With me here, your safety will be no problem. Looking at Fang Yi who was about to leave, Su Zaicho pulled the button lived him. Fang Yi was stunned and asked with a smile, What? You want me to accompany you? Su Zaicho blushed and said angrily, I have something to tell you. Oh, say it, I'm all ears. Just now at the dock, I heard the island officers discussing how to sabotage the ship on the sea and sink the ship. Su Zaicho took a deep look at Fang Yi and said, they all think you are the devil alive and are ready to die with you. Okay, I get it. Leave the room. Fang Yi's eyes became cold. Fortunately, he met a few foreigners before, otherwise he might have been deceived. It didn't take long. Those officers became Mr. Ren's snacks. The punishment Fang Yi gave them was to turn them into zombies and then release them to the island country. Aren't they prepared to die together to protect the country? Fang Yi let them destroy his country with his own hands. It just so happened that among the remaining foreigners, some of them knew how to steer the ship, and the sailing of the ship was left to them. With Mr. Ren on board, a few foreigners didn't dare to disobey. Three nights later, Fang Yi and Su Zaicho successfully arrived at a port in the island country. Taking advantage of the darkness, Fang Yi directly released zombies and attacked the port. After Fang Yi conducted experiments and confirmed that the corpse poison of the little zombies could quickly infect others, he then attacked old Mrs. Ren, served him with blazing flames, and sent old Mrs. Ren back to heaven, to be honest. When he killed Mr. Ren, Fang Yi was still a little reluctant. Because Mr. Ren has been trained to be obedient by him. What a pity. In order to prevent Mrs. Ren from continuing to evolve, Fang Yi must solve it in advance and nip the threat in the cradle. Otherwise, if Mr. Ren continues to evolve, sooner or later, he will surpass Fang Yi. At that time, if Fang Yi turns over, it will not only harm himself, but also Su Zaicho. 
Fang Yi is not a fool. Of course we won't let this happen. Three more days passed. The entire city of Osaka has fallen due to the zombie scourge. Ever since Fang Yi discovered that these secondary infected zombies evolved very slowly, he started to breed these zombies. That is to say, just leave them alone and let them bite people everywhere. A zombie needs to suck the blood of at least a thousand people to evolve once. Fei Zheng is even further away. In terms of qualifications, none of these reinfected zombies can compare to the old man Ren. In the free-range state, it only took three days for the zombies to capture the city of Osaka, on the land of Sha Kingdom. After all, there are exorcist Taoist priests like Uncle Ju who can compete with zombies and kill them. As for the island country, no one can stop the zombies. Coupled with the fact that the industry is behind the scenes, zombies are developing extremely rapidly. Within a few days, tens of thousands of zombies appeared. Once in the evening, you can see jumping zombies everywhere on the streets of Osaka. The seventh day, Kyoto and Kobe fell one after another and became zombie territory. The people in power on the island finally realized the seriousness of the matter and had to order to recall all the troops outside and prepare to fight against the evil zombies with a modern army. The fourteenth day, Fukuoka, Kawasaki, and Nagoya have become zombie paradises. A large number of people fled, completely plunging the island into chaos. And on this night, the army on the island and the army of zombies started a decisive battle. Unfortunately, their weapons have little effect on zombies. In addition to killing those primary zombies, it cannot cause effective damage to evolved zombies at all. In this battle, the island army was defeated. On the 25th day, zombies appear in the buildings of Kyoto. At this moment, the zombie army has swept across the island and has become an irreversible trend. Even if the initiator is Fang Yi, he can't stop it. The powerful people on the island began to abandon the island and fled abroad by boat. The once glorious island nation began to die. Another night. In a residential house, Fang Yi sat by the window, looking out at the dark night, lost in thought. It's time to eat. Su Zaicho came out of the kitchen with the food and placed it on the dining table. The fragrance of the dishes immediately attracted Fang Yi's attention. There were not many dishes, only three dishes in total and one soup, but they were very delicate and colorful. It was full of flavor. Fang Yi took a bite, and his taste buds were immediately wrapped up in the delicious food. He couldn't help but sigh, it's so delicious. Zaicho, I've been asking you to cook all this time. It's really hard on you. Yes, during this month, Su Zaicho cooked for Fang Yi every day, which relieved Fang Yi from worries. Of course, Fang Yi can also recruit others to do it, but people are far away from each other, and others are likely to it's poisonous, so Fang Yi doesn't feel at ease eating it. As for changing her name from, Xiao Su, to, Zi Chu, it was Su Zaicho's strong request. I don't know what this girl is thinking. It's a bit too much to call her, Zi Chu, intimate. Just cooking, what's so hard about it? Su Zaicho smiled slightly and said, that's all I can do. Fang Yi smiled said nothing more, and concentrated on the food. When Fang Yi had almost finished eating, Su Zaicho suddenly spoke again, Fang Yi, are we going back tomorrow? Fang Yi calculated the time, nodded and said, yes, the mission will end at noon tomorrow. Su Zaicho asked, then shall we go kill zombies tonight? Fang Yi shook his head and said, no, we have killed enough zombies. Let's have a good rest tonight. During this period of time, the two of them killed at least hundreds of thousands of zombies. Such a huge number was enough for them to get the highest mission rating. Su Zaicho nodded meekly. During this period of time, she has been focusing on Fang Yi. Since Fang Yi said not to kill, so of course she was obedient. After dinner, the two of them had no entertainment, so they washed up and prepared to rest. The doors and windows had been sealed, and if any zombies broke in, they would definitely be alarmed. There was only one tatami in the house, Fang Yi slept outside, and Su Zaicho slept inside. During this period, they both slept like this. On the surface, the two of them lived a life similar to that of a couple. It was just that they never had the last moment. One step, shortly after falling asleep, Fang Yi felt that Su Zaicho, who was sleeping inside, suddenly came over and rested his head on his shoulder. Fang Yi, you said, will we have another chance in the future, like now? 
Su Zaicho's tone was a little nervous. This was the first time she took the initiative to flirt with a man. Hearing this, Fang Yi suddenly smiled. Will do. He gave an affirmative answer. Renjia Town. Today. It's the last day of the mission. In a few hours, the mission time will be over. At this point, all the students who had accepted the simple task breathed a sigh of relief. Because, even if zombies come at this time, they won't be able to make any big waves. The successful completion of their mission is a sure thing. At this time, many students gathered together to discuss. How strange. It's been a month and there are no zombies at all. Did the instructor make a mistake? Are you a dummy? There are zombies, they were just kidnapped. That's right, a month ago, the Ren family issued a reward, saying that Mrs. Ren's body was stolen. According to the instructor, Mrs. Ren was the initial zombie of this mission. I don't know, who is the boss who robbed the zombies? It really helped us. It's a pity that the rewards for simple tasks are a little less. It's already great to be able to finish the game so smoothly. Do you still think the reward is small? By the way, this time the reward task is based on individual performance to differentiate task evaluation. Since all the zombies have been kidnapped by the boss, everyone's behavior should be the same, right? Ha ha ha, those who want to show off at Wushan Academy must be dumbfounded this time. Anyway, it's a good thing that the mission was successfully completed, and we can finally leave this hellish place. Yes, it was really hard to live without the internet and mobile phones. Most importantly, because I had no money to eat, I worked as a waiter for the Ren family for a month. Ha ha ha, then you were really tragic. Do you still have the nerve to laugh at me? Last time I saw you in a brothel, washing people's pants. Brother, I was wrong, please stop saying it. Almost all students seemed very happy that the task ended so smoothly. Of course, there have always been people who are happy and others who are worried. For example, right now, the students at Martial Arts Academy are very depressed. They originally wanted to wait for the zombies to appear, put on a good show, and led everyone to fight against the zombies. As a result, from beginning to end, zombies never appeared. This made the plans they prepared completely in vain and unable to be used, more importantly. No performance. Then just like everyone else, they can only have a very low task evaluation. They are the proud students from Wushan College, the best college students in the country, how can they be the same as those poor students with no talent? It should be Lu Feng and the others who kidnapped the zombies, right? They are right, I heard that they have a plan to use the initial zombies to infect more people, turn them into zombies and then kill them, and use this method to improve the mission evaluation. Hiss, this plan is a bit inhumane. What does it matter? Anyway, after we leave, everything in Forbidden Land Number 3 will be reset and restored to its original state. They have their plan, but just kidnapping the zombies without sending any zombies back is too much. Don't you know there are still as classmates? That's right, these guys went too far and actually disappeared with the zombies. After I return to school, I will complain to them for being selfish and affecting everyone's interests. Are you sure? I heard that Zhao Fusheng was also with Lu Feng and the others. Isn't he just a muscular man? I'm not afraid of him. Oh, Zhao Fusheng is not just a muscular man, he is the most perfect match for the hero. The compatibility has reached 100%. His future achievements are limitless. Even the principal is very optimistic about him and is ready to accept him as his disciple. All right, you win, I will endure at this time. A group of students from Martial Arts Academy were also discussing, at this time. Suddenly, someone rushed to the students with a newspaper. Something big happened. Please read this newspaper, the entire island country has fallen. Zombies are everywhere. When everyone heard this, they were shocked and immediately grabbed the newspaper and rushed to read it. The newspaper is from yesterday, shipped from the provincial capital. The content in the newspaper was simply shocking. A country was completely occupied by zombies and became a paradise for zombies. This is too scary. Grass. Did Lu Feng and the others do this? Isn't it too much to play with? Aren't you afraid of overturning? If these fools hadn't died, they probably wouldn't have killed many zombies. I still can't believe how brave they are. If you play like this, it's easy to lose it. The mission time is coming soon. You will know when you go back and see what their mission evaluation is. When the moment comes at 12 noon, 
All students disappeared directly from where they were. In a pure white alien space. Su Zaicho is accepting the reward given to him by Forbidden Land No. 3. Congratulations. You performed extremely well in this forbidden area. You killed 275,951 zombies within the mission time and received the highest mission rating. You have gained 150 freely assignable attributes. Hearing the prompt, Su Zaicho's pretty face showed a hint of joy. 150 free attribute points. For a person like Su Zaicho, it is a huge wealth. In Su Zaicho's mind, Fang Yi's picture couldn't help but appear. A calm face. Without Fang Yi's invitation, it would have been absolutely impossible for her to get such a rich reward. 150 attribute points. It was enough to greatly improve her strength. Thinking of Fang Yi, Su Zaicho's pretty face, showing a smile from the heart. In Forbidden Area No. 3, a month has passed, but in the real world outside, only an hour has passed, at this time. Exit to the Forbidden Area No. 3. Teachers from major universities are waiting in the lounge. Wang Liang, the team leader of Wushan Academy, glanced at Yan Tai, who was sitting on the other side, with an imperceptible sneer flashing in his eyes. Thinking about it, when all the students come out later, Yan Tai's expression will be wonderful when he sees that he is missing two of his best students, right? Wang Liang can't wait anymore. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.